Your and all your shits. <laughs> hold on, hold on, thumbnail. <laughs> Please tell me we're not recording. Oh, no, we are. No, 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 no. Okay, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's staying in for sure. Maybe <laughs> not. And and a- action. Wait, have, hey, I, I, the- I legitimately didn't think we were recording, and I was like, "Haha, funny." And I looked up, and I saw we were recording, and I was like, "Oh, that's our camera." So, uh, Sean, you want to enter the show? Hey guys, welcome to episode twenty-seven of the Regurgitated Podcast. Welcome what everybody. That's hey, what my stick to these. I'm if working st- on my presentation sound. You're doing, my you're killing channel. it. You're doing so yeah, good with your thirty days of content cringe. If you stick to the end of the episode, um, Ben Stiller might be joining. You guys want to play chess for this episode? For oh, I video? thought it was still enough. <laughs> ben, you knew me for Ben. Ben, Ben Stiller. You know what I mean? And one of them is just you going like this. Yeah, what if, this Wait, is the, what if it was just a JPEG of me? <laughs> ben, Ben Stiller. Ben, hey, that's the Stiller. kind of comedy you could expect if you keep watching this show. That's funny. That's funny, uh, dude. Uh, good, good day. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tristan looks Tropic, unamused. Tropic Thunder, when? No, sorry. sorry. <laughs> when, 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 when Ben said that, I wanted to take a picture of Ben Stiller and Ben and then mash it together in mid-journey, but... That oh, like in that long. Pokemon game Ben plays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tristan, go ahead. How are you? What am I? Just a fucking zoo animal over here? What's going you know on? What's go crazy? ahead. Crazy. Yeah, you? it's called a you show. Know you know what's mind boggling? Doing good. I, I want. I just want to. I just want to give love to my the big four right now because the last. This will be the fourth episode in a row, I believe, with just the, us four specifically. What happened to Variety? What happened to Variety? Yeah, where's Brian and Evan? Are are they working? Uh, Evan's probably playing Final Fantasy and looking at baby penises, <laughs> and then Brian is probably playing Mega Man and looking at baby penises. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, the big four is what I call my penis. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, when I, the when big I go four into is VIP, what I call all my toes. <laughs> when I go into VIP and I look for a for a sex toy, and they they ask yeah. how deep. I see. I'm like I'm looking for a big four. <laughs> I'm looking for a big four. <laughs> four. Is there anybody that likes feet? The big four. No, no, I don't particularly have an, a, a, no. a specific attraction to feet. Really no, quick. No. I, I know I just asked a question and I'm derailing my own train of thought, but I do like the idea for this podcast is, okay, you, you tune in. There's just four white guys. They're trying to figure out what's going on. And they're just like, I don't know. You like feet? Uh, it's just like, just, just a bunch of guys get on a, di- get on a discord call and they're all like, oh, do you like feet? <laughs> hey, guys, how do you feel yeah, about feet? I do like feet. I do like feet, especially when they're. They got five toes. Yep. Yeah, fully yep. intact. That's my, that's my yeah, yeah count them. One, them. two, three, four, yeah. sexy. If I write you guys. Exactly. Um, that's when I bust. Right when you get to the fifth one, that's yeah, yeah. So, wait, why did you ask if we like feet? I don't know. Questioning. I'm just trying. I'm, I'm reaching already. <laughs> so, I, I, um, I, I, I will say, if, it, if it's not weird, I have like a mouth fix, a, a fix, a fixation. So if your, there's a foot near my face while I'm having sex, I definitely stick that shit down my throat. Damn, so that explains <laughs> the penises of my right, you guys. That explains the shirt. You got sponsored. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, we're being sponsored well, I, should get my, I should get my Manscaped shirt. <laughs> No, yeah, well, I, I'm wearing a yeah. porn. I mean, it's a little different of a sponsor. I'm wearing a Pornhub shirt. I don't even shave my balls wasn't anymore. It a, wasn't it a crazy thing when Pornhub stopped uh, letting what you upload? What happened to hygiene? Uh, non. Oh, uh, like Shrek the Shrek movie? I watched the B movie on Pornhub. No, people would upload like Modern Warfare two montages yeah. on Pornhub, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, they stopped uh, up, uh, allowing you to upload uh, porn if you were not verified. Which was yeah, that uh, was that was the main issue because they tried to crack down on the amateur shit. Yeah, but yeah. here's my problem: I liked the amateur, the amateur porn section. Me too. I, well, I, I get uh, its ethical concerns, but honestly, I do prefer that format. It, it is a weird gray area. I was gonna. I wasn't gonna be the one. Mature to say is it, good. But. No, mature is good. I like mature. Uh, would you bang a 65 plus? Depending. If she, if you're at a bar, <laughs> it's late night, you know you're not getting pussy that night, and she's like, hey, hey, there's nev- youngster. There's never really? a chance that I ain't getting pussy, my <laughs> There you go. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like you're to hear. married. Yeah. And I know well, he's married to the <laughs> pussy. He's married. Yeah, married to the game, motherfucker. <laughs> that's why he has to go over the six, for the sixty-five yeah, year old. Yeah, that's crazy. They won't remember. They won't remember. <laughs> they got dementia. Yeah. Sean's, Sean's fucking a dementia lady. 
Oh God! Holy uh, shit. You're gonna cut that, right? Gonna... <laughs> uh, no. Nope. She keeps she keeps forgetting that she meets you at the same bar. And then you just keep fucking... 41st fucks, bro. 41st fucks. What a great what a great fucking parody, oh, dude. God. Have you ever seen uh, in high school? High school. <laughs> I just got that. Yeah. In high school, you you will never. Uh, from high school, Ben. I'll try not to say his last name this time. Um, we it was. Kevin me, me, him, Alex, and Haley were in Haley's room, and we were just jokingly browsing Pornhub, and we found a video called Tarzan's Hardcore Anal Conquest, and that is still like a running joke. We That's watched great, like the, though. We watched Hardcore like the first five anal. minutes of it, and then it's like a running joke now. We'll was it was it just it. The, like the 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 girl that he was? Fucking. No, it was just some fucking shaggy looking bro. I'd have to look it up again, but I it wasn't like in the jungle or anything. It was oh, just it wasn't animated. Oh. It was IRL. No, it was just some fuck, and okay. he was like, "Yeah, I'm Tarzan or whatever." He starts fucking right. people. Okay. I have a question. <laughs> Why is porn allowed to be racist sometimes? I've okay. noticed that. Like it Can gets, a, it gets a away thing? with a lot of Can stuff. Can we add it? Yeah, I want to talk about that, and I also want to talk about how a lot of male or female actors, a lot of the, the like, if you go to mainstream porn and you go to even like stepmom porn or like stepsister porn, it. those people are like autistic. Like one of the persons is retarded. Yeah, and yeah. The other, so she, like the guy's like jacking off in his room and the, the sister goes, Danny, what are you doing? And he goes, oh, oh I don't, I don't know. And it's like, <laughs> don't have sex with that brother, not because of incest, but because that's rape. Dude, you are I, raping a retard. Like, he's like, so fucking. I had, I had a, I watched a video a few years ago and it was um one of the, it, it was like a family situation again. I'm not into that per se, but I will yeah, say yeah. for some reason they find particularly attractive Good people actor, yeah. to do those scenes I'm for some you reason. I'm with you on that 100%. I don't know why. It just, look, man, it is what I it is. Don't it, ask too I many questions. I mute it until they start having sex. I really, I hate hearing I'm the word brother. I'm in it for the visuals on that one. <laughs> it's less skip, for the plot. You just mute it um, and then just keep checking yeah. off. No. I need the story. I need the story. Why is she stuck in the couch? But I don't want to know that it's really, they're it's related. It's every guy's but, fantasy. You are the uh, subtitles. When you were just masturbating, you, uh, my biggest fantasy was like, a chick's just going to knock on my door and be like, what's up? So, like that. That oh sure, to your mind. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm not that was not my biggest fantasy. Just a random appearance. Mine. Yeah, I was just like, some chick's gonna knock on my door. It could be anything. It happens. She's gonna fuck me and take my virginity, like the virgin prince she is. Really? That was it. That was your. Wait, a virgin. I, mean, I gonna guess take... mine was the same at the, when I was a virgin. Sure. Yeah. yeah no, I, I'll tell you the first. The first like sexual. I got a thing I'm trying to oh, say. Yeah, I got I'm two. Sorry, I got right. two whole things. I'm okay, trying I'm sorry. To get go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No. I'm sorry. Well, I don't know. Is I don't even podcast? know anymore. This whole thing. Got <laughs> <to rip. laughs> I was going to say. No, I I love it though when porn makes me like laugh out loud. I was watching this one. This guy was like, um, he was trying to trick his sister. Uh, into sucking him somehow and so he's on the toilet and he gets a bottle of ketchup and he pours it on his dick like a hot dog and he goes sister come in here I'm bleeding it's very clearly ketchup he goes I'm bleeding out of here you gotta suck it up because the hot you can't call an ambulance it's gonna take too long <laughs> you gotta suck the blood out it's like and it's just venom. literally just ketchup and I was just I it, had me, yeah, it had me in shambles just the concept of calling your sister over well, that's just, with your that's ketchup just, covered dick. that's just that's There's just a no really good shark sister. in the tub that's, that's not a beach that's a bathtub that's just yeah, yeah, so yeah, that's yeah, exactly yeah. what yeah. I was thinking of yeah. but um yeah, I, I do. I do think like uh, porn gets a little away with being racist sometimes, and I'm not even just talking about like the uh, fetishization of black people uh, sometimes. But they like, have big dicks. I saw. Do you remember when the Popeyes chicken sandwich was a big deal a few years yeah. ago? Yeah. Do you remember that? Um, on the front page of Pornhub on that week, I, I'm pretty sure one of the videos was white chick rides mandingo for two Popeye's chicken sandwiches. And I'm pretty sure the word I just said is a slur. Like, I'm pretty sure that's like an actual slur. Yeah, that's like, like yeah. I was surprised in Australia, I'm pretty sure. It was on the front page and she's holding two Popeye's chickens. Going up. And I was watching this, I was like, what in the world? What have we well, come okay, to? Wait, I, I'll play a little bit of a devil's advocate. I think there are some black people that really like just fucking racist white people. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. And there's, and that's there's yeah, that, that's a thousand percent so like, thing. I, I'm like king. positive that there are black people who are like, yeah, if this white girl calls me the N word, I'm fucking her hard. Yeah, like, I, not, and now again, I'm debating just, whether or not I want that word. I just said, in the just to be, <laughs> clear, just just to be very word, clear. There's no way. Well, it's I've a heard, pretty bad word. I just think I can, I don't know. I don't it's a bad know. word. I know that. I thought it was an animal in Australia. Genuinely. I had no that's idea. That's a dingo. Yeah. And then, 
Okay. Yeah, no, no, Zach's right. The word he used is was a word for like slaves that weren't smarter. Yeah, the fighters. Yeah. They were just used to like mutilate each other in a fight. So, so, but, 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 Zach, on that same note of of your story, remember when the when that guy fucked the McChicken? <laughs> remember when Bro fucked the McC- McChicken? Do you no. remember that? No. Am I the, wait, everybody's looking stunned. Yeah, ben, <laughs> the guy fucking them a chicken. I don't ben think watches a lot of deep. Ben watches a lot of food porn. Yeah, I don't think I've gotten that deep. Oh my god. Bro so, clapped cheeks with a McChicken. Nobody saw this, bro. There was some fucking mayonnaise over his cock. Dude, it was they crazy. Put a lot of mayonnaise in I, I for whatever reason, I miss the the days when Tumblr allowed porn because it used to be the most weird shit you could ever imagine was found on Tumblr. Oh yeah. Back in the day. I was subscribed to a, a Tumblr blog. I think that's what they were. They were blogs or pages or something. Yeah. But the whole thing was just coming in food. That was the whole page. It was just every day they'd post someone coming in someone's coffee and stirring it up. <laughs> and then they would drink it. <laughs> or someone like injecting it into a muffin. Obviously consensual. Cum- there was some Who non-consensual stuff that was pretty bad. Who sent me the video of the woman being fucked but- by a truck? That was, oh, that was last us. week. That was <laughs> us. That was, uh, yeah, that was oh, us. God. Yeah. Well, she wasn't getting fucked by a truck. She was getting fucked behind... Yeah, by on a the piston truck. attached um, yeah, to a truck. Yeah, truck. yeah. yeah. There's yeah. A difference. Um, yeah, I, I don't. Come grosses me the fuck out. Like almost especially oh, yeah. my own. Yeah, Haley for a long time thought that I actually had like a like a problem because I, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I don't mind going down. I don't mind doing any of that. But c- like if I'm just sitting on the couch watching TV and someone's like periods or vaginas or penises, I if I'm not in a sexual mindset. I don't want to hear anything about any sexual organs. Mm-hmm. I don't, I, it's just like a, I, I hate, it just, a it's vagina, ca- vagina. I hate, I hate sexual, sexual organs unless Pussy. I'm like ready to fuck, bro. Pussy. Uh, Pussy. It's just, Penis. Like, hole. That's why I'll never really be attracted, I think, to like Sounding. pee or anything like that. Cause there's nothing inherently sexual about to me. S- so like, like, squirt on so, my face. No, that's so, fine. In the act of sex, if something happens, that's, a hundred percent fine. Well, yeah. Oh, it, it, no one likes to be pissed on randomly when they're not expecting it. <laughs> like, I beg to differ. I think there are some people. Really? Oh, that's so, interesting. How do you guys guess, feel bro. about the new Supreme Court decision that overturned affirmative action and I didn't hear about this. I didn't hear about this. Anyways, I'll <laughs> every time I browse squirt. porn, I see somebody. So I, I'm affirmative woman, action in porn needs to stop. <laughs> <laughs> some woman holding her vagina lips and pissing. Really hard in the thumbnail oh, the, of the porn yeah, video. Where you, I'm like, I don't know. That was Lady that, Gaga. I'm pretty he sure. He is so odd. I don't I'll know. I'll be honest. I I'm I'm a bit of a freak. Like I'll do just about anything except for like a few things. There's like a couple. Like of things. There's like What's a handful of things. What wouldn't you do? What yeah, you what do? Nothing, do? nothing. 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 Shit related. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't. Yeah. Sounding is a no. Google that if you're unfamiliar. Sounding is when you put your penis in a penis. No. Well, well, penis in a foreskin. Don't do no, it. No, that's no, frauding. You put a God rod damn it. Or that's docking and frauding is something else. No, just Google image sounding and thank you me put, later. Oh, you put that thing in your dick. Yeah. Oh, it's, fuck. Yeah. No. No. Um, anything, most that, that involve anything, cutting, that, anything that involves blood is it's out for me. Anything that could I don't think that necessarily blood, involves no, not for me. blood. I'm but, putting it in if there's blood. I'm just kidding. That's that's <laughs> I, that, I, that's I like a, a blood that's like a full body cringe. I really can't even I will say though, I I as much as I am like into most things, I do have to say like I have to be in the mood to be touched. Like if yeah. I'm not in the mood yeah. to be touched, like regardless, like I, it weirds me out. You know what I mean? What if you're yeah. in the mood to be touched and you just get a fucking big wallop on the like a on the face? Oh, that's will you, fine. Will, will, will you get hard? <laughs> yeah, I probably I, actually. Yeah, so, I get I I get rage boners pretty easily. I think I would probably like if, if I, I was get in rage, it. I get I get passion boners. It's really bad. What does that mean? Like when you're editing a video really well. <laughs> 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 when I'm like, when I'm fucking killing the edit, and I'm like, oh yeah, I don't. Oh, this clip is gonna me, fucking oh, kill it, and this fucking is gonna fucking. Me kill it. It's like when I'm really happy, me at like my job. Really yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> me <laughs> in the office when I'm doing a killer edit. <laughs> the other side of Zach's desk is very crusty, <laughs> full of white goo. Um. Yeah. yeah I, I, we're we're all about sexual wellness and openness here on the Regurgitated Podcast. I other ate than, an ass once, and it was great. Did you actually? I did. Okay. Only once? 
Well, it's because I was eating the other thing, and then I'm like, let me just go a little bit lower. Bro, I said ass and other thing. <laughs> you said, yeah, I mean, I mean ass once, and the other thing. You didn't want to say, say, yeah. yeah. say balls. That's what I think. <laughs> you didn't want to say balls. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this new Supreme Court decision is, uh, you know, has some pretty, pretty big waves in, uh, you know, it's kind of going to be influential for the rest of our lives, you know? Like, think about future generations. Like, it's going to take a lot of work to overturn that if you support it. And your children will have to go through that. Um, it's a pretty big stuff. I mean, that's like decades of history undone. I can't do it. Every time it's going to make me laugh from now on. Uh, yeah, yeah, dude. That's a good fuck, point. Uh, yeah, fuck yeah. Uh, diversity or whatever the fuck yeah. we were talking about. Who that. cares about Roe v. Wade? What does that even mean? <laughs> you, <laughs> you know what? Mean. Mean. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah, <laughs> you know what? Make the porn racist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Holy shit! This episode is shouldn't be watching cut. that gunk anyways. Done. Yeah. That's true. I actually have I've cut a lot of porn out. I think I watch it maybe like once every other week now. I, I I'm 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 pornless. Like it 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 was a big thing in my life for like a I long like it. time. And it's I'm like just having like, a good beer or a smoke or something. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I jerk off a lot. A good beer or smoke. Okay, so I jerk I jerk off without that, porn a lot. I'll, I'll, so I, I think that's off. more healthy. I think that's genuinely more healthy to jerk off without porn. With like a maybe, magazine or like your brain? brain? No, with, with, the, with the you know like. Night C4, bro, Night C4. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe this is a uh, controversial thing to say. Maybe people won't like me saying this. Whoa, hot take alert. Um, so, and I want to <laughs> preface this by saying, like, I don't mean to put down anyone that goes through, like, porn addiction, because I know that's a real thing. I believe you could be addicted to anything. So, like, I, I believe it's real. But there's this big movement and wave of people that are anti-porn right now or, like, associated with drug addiction and everything. And I, I get it. There's, like, dopamine hits associated with it and everything I, my personal lived experience i don't see it you know what i mean like not not you that I that individual I people don't experience it it's i absolutely like, would it's a say video. that i, I like, would absolutely I say that i've been addicted to porn in the past i've I, hit the I euphoria say. i okay all i'm saying is let me let me put you onto a little secret sauce right now okay i'm gonna make you have the orgasm of a lifetime all right everyone gets i think your that's kind of against what we're ta- i think we're trying to figure out how I'm to ready. A- avoid give me the orgasm okay. give me the uh, orgasm okay. you're gonna get something <clears throat> like this okay you're gonna you're gonna grab oh, something you're gonna like david this. carradine yourself and you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna put it okay so let's just pretend my thumb is the balls this is the penis you're gonna wrap it around i the do penis that with like my other this, hand I, oh. and then you wrap it around the balls the bottom like that so it's like this it constricts the blood makes you last longer First off, and two, you can't feel your dick, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's basically cutting circulation uh, from your penis. Not that can't be healthy. That not can't be physically healthy. Doing that. No, it actually is a thing. It's a, it's a real thing. <laughs> it's a real thing. It makes your dick hard for longer. And uh, I definitely don't need it because I have a rock hard dick always. I think day. it would be less embarrassing to take those gas station rhino pills. Um, Maybe. Have you ever had? Have you ever had two orgasms? Like when you're having sex? Have You've you ever... been over this on the show yeah. before. Oh, I did. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Sean, I did do that. You not, actually not, did not, what I not the, not, no, not the In way that butt? you described. I one time I I fully came and I'm like, where is the re- where is the cum? And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh no! Where it came out of my mouth. Where did the cum go? You start vomiting cum. Um, Condom, uh, condoms is coming out of your mouth in different colors. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> uh, what were we talking about before the come again? Affirmative action, and then we said something else. Oh yeah, affirmative action, Zach. Let's I'll get back on topic. Action. Why would you say that? Five minutes. But, uh, hey, I'll, I hope everyone gets to go to school. How about that? How about I do. All educations I, matter. I no, do. Fuck college. College will be useless in twenty years. Oh, the porn fuck addiction. College. The porn addiction. I want to talk about porn addiction. I. I, I would have, say I was addicted. To says porn the yet. man in the shirt. I have. A, I have a very. I have a very specific um, idea. Idea. Ideology about porn addiction. I think it is definitely a real thing, but I think that it is. It, people that say that everybody reacts to porn the same way is fucking so stupid and i think that you have to have a certain say uh, you have to have a certain connection with sexuality with god uh, to be addicted to porn and to not to, to be able to not be addicted to porn because i've watched a lot of porn but i i i it, it never 
Like I I've never just seen a lot. Yeah, yeah, first of all, it never impacted my sex life. It never impacted uh, how often I got horny. It, Wait, you have sex? Uh, so sometimes. I thought this was the virgin group. I gotta leave. Oh yeah, you gotta go. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I've Sorry. only eaten ass, but aside from that, I'm a virgin. And another thing, I ate another thing too. Apparently, what, what was thing? the other thing? I don't know. Balls. I, I asked this guy. Was it? I don't it know was where it, he it is was on the screen. I I maybe he's thing. not. Maybe we're full I screen now. Fifth. I don't know. I played the a fifth. dick with a hot dog. I played the fifth. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I just think that, like, I don't know. Oh. I've seen a lot more people be like openly, like, we should stop porn. We should close that down, or like. Like that's just a lot more people, you know, discuss like tons yeah, of these negative I, I, side effects, but they make it sound like it's, I yeah, don't know, we they live just make in it a, sound you, way more literal. The society that I've we live in is it. very like, as much as we like cancel culture is like a relatively new thing. It's not like, there's always been this, this thing of like, if we don't understand it, let's cut it out. And it's like, <laughs> it's just so fucking annoying. Cause it's like, I have gone through periods of time where I am more reliant than I should be on porn to like, if I'm bored, I'll just pull fucking porn up and just yeah. start jacking off. But I've never once like pulled up porn out of boredom, jacked off, and then not done something. Like yeah. it's never it, ruined my life. It's never gotten in the, the way. What's the wisdom of, wink? Right, is what they call it when you when you well, jerk but, off for, and then you, you have like you have stuff you can actually but, do stuff throughout the day or whatever. You weren't addicted, because bro, no, no, I've like, been no, no, no. I've been addicted to porn. I'm telling you, like two or three <laughs> like, times like, a day. Like but, a fucker. friend? No, no, not, uh, not 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 in that sense. I'm like. A couple of friends are going to go see a movie and they're like, hey, Sean, you should come along and see this movie. And you're like, I can't because I have to jerk off. Oh, like, okay. That yeah, is that's the level never, of like, yeah, yeah. But that is, like, that is a real thing that people experience. And it's really sad. Yeah. And it's because they don't, they really like, uh, like it, they, it really is that they do not have the mental connection with themselves to be able yeah. to like, because it's true. It's a pretty they good They can dopamine. wait like three minutes, you know? They can't, bro. Well, that's the thing is like, cause like what, like they jack off must be and then, drained. but it's not just that, like they jack off and minutes. it's like, they don't have the ability to then sit with not having that dopamine. Cause like, it's not the thing. If you just had porn on, I might get horny, but like, everyone's experienced that when you jack Especially off to porn scared. and then you immediately go back to the porn f- for the normal, like neurotypical or whatever brain, like. If you're jacking off while a porn video is playing, your first instinct is not to clean yourself up. It's to pause the fucking video. Like, you don't yeah. want that anymore. <laughs> you're fucking yeah. done. I'm done yeah. jacking off. Yeah, definitely. I think Absolutely. I'd rather clean myself up yeah, I first. Clean, I clean myself no, up. No, I put, like, paper then... towels, like, right here. Just jack off. There's cum on the towels, oh, and I just hit. Like... I'm, I've never, oh, I've never I purposely treat myself. myself. I treat myself, brother. I got, I like, sometimes socks. I have, okay, like, Okay, maybe beer. you are addicted. <laughs> 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 yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe that. Maybe I like you're right. You changed my mind. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I, I listen. It's a it's a nice affair. Haley's like off at work. I'm just fucking. Treat I got myself this big to ass a little screen. squirting. Yeah, yeah. bro. Let's treat myself to a little. And okay, I'm never. just telling you the reason why I think people should watch porn is because I've always, even at the times where I was watching too much of it, it was a positive experience where I get to we like sit down and pick a good video. You know what I mean? We should go. We should we should tour across the country and be pro porn and do do conferences about I think, porn. I think porn stars life. should be treated fairly, paid well. Oh, I don't et believe that. Fuck that. No, fuck that <laughs> shit. Uh, I just want right, to bust wait, a nut. <laughs> wait, wait. So okay. So so after now that, now that this conversation it seems but to be coming to a Can I say one thing before we close this conversation? <laughs> yeah. I don't understand <laughs> OnlyFans. I, I don't understand the attraction what? of. I don't get it. I actually should. It doesn't. What? Read, I've not once looked at a celebrity, even females that I follow on Instagram in terms of like YouTubers or whatever. I don't. I don't then go. I would like to see this woman naked. It's the face. F- uh, f- um, uh, I'll be uh, honest. I'm with Sean here too. I don't. I don't like what? seeing. Well, I can I, tell you the psychology behind it. The it's, psychology it's the, makes so much sense. I mean, no, okay. I, 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 it makes sense to me. I just don't personally view. You oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. Do I fundamentally understand? Yeah. On paper, why people want to jack yeah. off to fucking Corinna Cop or whatever. That, yeah. But I, okay, I get it. I don't you get don't it. You don't prescribe to it, though. I, yeah. It, yeah, it doesn't yeah, register yeah. In, in my own head. I agree. I agree. Uh, I, I, ben, go ahead. You've been cut off too many well, times. Are you going to continue the porn t- 
Well, I was going to say just one thing again, and I, I know I've mentioned this before, but I know people whose whole like social media feed, right? Like they'll scroll through Instagram and it's just like swimsuit models. And they're like, look at how hot that girl is. And it's just like, they're like a chick from your high school. Are so and I just bad. don't get it. A hot chick like, from your me, high school. And she's like, I'm doing OnlyFans. You're not like, okay, I'm just going to, I might look, a little bit. Oh. Okay. Okay. If someone from my high school, like, okay, there's a girl from our high school named and I okay, found out that she, <laughs> Ben's like a censor. I Narcos found out censor. that she did porn for a little bit. So I went to Pornhub and I typed the name and I found her and I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. And then I didn't, didn't even fucking. Like no, I didn't. I looked at the thumbnails, but I'm like, oh, I I wasn't actually that attracted to her. Dude, I know, but I you might not. Even, she might be the ugliest bitch ever. But if you're like, I hey, knew we, this we shit. That's women, the thing. Bro. Sorry. The no. woman. <laughs> whore. Whore woman. Sorry. Woman. <laughs> All I'm Hole. saying is. Oh, yeah. All I'm saying is that curiosity would kill me. I'm like, I'd have to see it. You know what I mean? Just to see know. for a second. Yeah, I, I guess that's know. the thing. I don't really have that. Yeah, I don't know. You might not. Yeah, you might not have it. I got it. I just want to see a picture of nice boobs, you know, some some, uh, some tatas. Is that all you need? Some, but yeah, I mean, I, going back that's to all my, I need my to get started. Going back to know? my point, though, like, I just don't get this, like, integration of sexuality and everything that you do in life. You know yeah. what I mean? For yeah, me, yeah, yeah. it's like I don't look, prescribe uh, full transparency. I'm a bit of a freak when we get down to the D, but through my day to day life, it's just out of my mind. Like, I guess I make jokes and shit, but that's like there's really like a, about there's like it. a very like, clear separation. Yeah. Like I go through my life and then when there's the time, it's like, all right, that's the time. Okay. But like, I, I don't like enjoy seeing it. And maybe this is just something weird about my, my sexuality not, personally. No. Cause I'm saying like, I don't particularly like to see like, I just something about like, like a good looking woman in a dress. I don't care. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's just something more about no. maybe I'll, that says more about me than I'll, other people. I don't I'll, give a shit. Like, I, I don't take, really don't give a shit. I feel There's like I'm going to take me. it a step further, but it, you, this might be what you're actually saying. And I'm not understanding. You're gay. I have, <laughs> I have, um, <laughs> which is kind of true. <laughs> I, I've, I've been sort of internally impressed with myself with the idea of, I've worked with a lot of like female coworkers that I know that I would find sexually attractive, but I have this, especially because I have Haley. I don't, I know that Haley acts as sort of like this bulwark of like, I'm not just like a ravenous, like sexual fiend <laughs> because I'm like, oh, I have Haley. I, it doesn't even register in my mind to flirt, but I'm saying like, there are people that I find attractive that I know that I would find attractive, but I don't think of them in a sexual way. And I've been able to have so many good, like friendly relationships with women just because I have this ability to not see them as sexual objects because I'm not in a sexual mindset. Okay, well, you don't get a fucking cookie for no, no, not I'm building off of women, what, whoa, 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 buddy. I'm building off what you're saying, bro. <laughs> I'm, think, I'm saying I'm not thinking about sex. I'm saying I'm think not. Because they think you're gay. They're like, he's not hitting on me. He's obviously gay. I spend way too much time on Twitter, so I apologize. I, sometimes I, like, decide, like, I know exactly out. what the reaction would be yeah. Yeah, to yeah, this, yeah, yeah. so I'm going to assume that role right so, now. Yeah. So I want to say, Zach, what you said, I, I have a question for you. Yeah, sure. Because I run into this. Because I think the same way. Like, sexy, sexy, sexy time is sexy time. The same time. way as me as well, just to be clear. <laughs> just to be yeah. clear. <laughs> sexy time is sexy time. Non-sexy time is non-sexy time. Like, it, 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 and it, and if there, a sexy time that you're not there's expecting comes area. up during a sexy time. Yeah, wait, yeah, yeah. Sorry. If yeah, there's a gray time, area. Like, if you're, like, cuddling like, on the couch. It's an unexpected moment. Like, we're, we're hanging out, and all of a sudden something happens, and we're, it's happening. But no, the no, point no, is, is in my all, day-to-day life, I'm not, like... You know, no, I'm, I'm saying I'm saying like, OK, so I, ha- I I have a clear separation where if I if it's not sexy time, if I'm like working, I don't want my dick touched. Don't touch my dick. Is that weird? Does that mean that's going to be really that's going to be a big issue when we get our office. <laughs> Zach, it is not sexy time. It is work time, Zach. Um, You can see our new intern is in the other room and they just hear us, stop, (laughs) stop doing that. I, um, I, I just have, it's such a clear separate, I cannot, like, I can't get in the mood of, um, if it's not sexy time. Mine's a little more gray than that, right? But it depends. Because I'm also someone that, like, I value being productive a lot mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. if i feel like i'm not being productive or something is getting in the way of me being productive that's just an issue in general sometimes but um grind set he's a grinder you know aside from that if like we're doing something and then it unexpectedly <laughs> is as you would childishly put it sexy time then you know maybe it is maybe it, maybe it is time but the point is is again like i don't 
I don't know. I just, the real thing to me is that Instagram feed thing. I don't know why that sticks in my mind is these yeah, people that just like constantly, constantly point out women in public being like, Ooh, she's hot. I don't give a shit. Like I don't even notice, you know what I mean? Like it, even when I'm single too, like I genuinely can couldn't I, give less can of I a be, fuck. Can I, can I Focus say something bag? cringe that is, that it, it is true, but it, it comes off as really cringe. And like, I, of course a man would say this type shit. Um, I care so much more about the connection. And if I like the person, than if they're attractive or not. Oh yeah. Like I, I, me and Alexis. I mean, maybe maybe this is just a product of me having a long distance term or a um, long distance relationship. But we met on VR chat, and I immediately liked her. So, you know really? what I mean? Like I didn't see what she looked like until afterwards, and then I was like, thumbs up. <laughs> but um, I, I, I much more prefer connection of, of like, especially if they're funny. Like Alexis is so funny. That's that's good game. Like that 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 made it. You know. So much better. I'm, I'm mostly the same way. Yeah. You know, that's a, that's a maybe a little less extreme as you take you. it, but around the same, we're in the same ballpark. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm, and I'm, I'm autistic. So uh, if they don't like me, they're able. I was going to say, I think, the, <laughs> I think the difference maybe between you and me is that like, I, if I weren't dating Haley, I probably could just, have sex with someone like uh, like that. I would like. Oh, I oh, do that. Yeah, yeah I, I, I can I've, do I've that. that before. I will say I can do that, and I have done that before. Like I've I've lived that life. But again, it's like just when it gets to the time. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I can't. I can't. I I I if I can't do the one night. I I like would if, never if do if the you, one night. Yeah, right. If you didn't have Alexis, Tinder would be a real fucking nightmare for you. Yeah, I, I tried Tinder in high school because I was sad after I mean, my breakup in high school. I know how the Tinder in high school went because yeah, it, it was it was. Yeah, well, that that one, but yeah, the, not the not the Hitler one, but yeah, it was it was pretty dog shit, um, and I I don't ever see myself doing that again. It was it's it's very shallow on Tinder, and I know I, I was on Hot or Not, and I was rated a five point three eight out of ten, and I cried and he never. Hasn't for, and he, I hasn't told he hasn't forgotten. He hasn't forgotten the number. But what? No, what? You'd rate me lower? Is that what you said? <laughs> it's not what I said, but you know what? We can roll no, with it. Fucker. I just your personality just though is a ten, so. Ben. Your personality right. though is a ten. 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 That's right. <laughs> He's got superpowers. He's an autistic little fuck. He's Ben. The shirt. It's <laughs> 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 like a little baby. <laughs> I hope that bit <laughs> moves on for the rest of the time. Because <laughs> that is the best bit that we have. Oh, God. God, I forgot the context so... for oh, that oh, last oh, episode. Oh, 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 it was no. Tristan just did it, and we all just thought it was funny. Yeah. Um, while you were saying something, I think remotely serious, Zach, you were actually trying to say something, and then Tristan just trying to like open that. up to you. Um, Someone's fire alarm. So, um, it, yeah, it was it was yours, Tristan. I, I'm almost certain. I, I, is your do you do you have to put a fucking battery in your fire alarms, Tristan? No, nothing's okay. going off. I don't hear anything. Oh. <laughs> no shot. It just happened again, Tristan. What? I'm not. I'm not fucking with you. Everyone, just shut up for like ten seconds. <laughs> There's it just nothing happened going one more on time here. to you. Oh, shut what up. are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're joking, right? There's no sound. We're, what the we're fuck not are fucking with you. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Zero. Nothing. What are you talking about? What are you talking? I'm am I insane. What is going on? Maybe it's over. Why did it stop? <laughs> there definitely was an alarm going off we're in not the background. With you. We're, we're, you have to put an alarm. You have to put a fucking battery in your alarm, Tristan. What are, I don't have an alarm. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, uh, sometimes sometimes, the, sometimes we'll move the fire on. alarm we'll goes move off. On. But... If you're breathing oh. fine, you're doing good. Okay. My, my, he just passes what? out and dies <laughs> of carbon monoxide poisoning. <laughs> what I was gonna say. What I was gonna say. Good day. So it it just picked again. <laughs> I know picked. you're gonna say it's something interesting, again. but what am I? What are you talking again? about? One of my favorite. <laughs> I, um, saying, I feel so bad. This would freak me the fuck out. But this is a real like we're hearing this beep from your. It's highlighting your screen. The um, the, the, the news publication The Onion that does comedy parody news articles had and might still have a side spin thing called. Okay, that wasn't on the screen that time. <laughs> called Clickhole. Um, and they made this video one time that says, uh, man mistakes, uh, man, man mistakes, carbon monoxide alarm for, uh, like an ape coming home from outer space alarm or something. And the video was just <laughs> him dead 
on the ground uh, from carbon monoxide poisoning with party material everywhere and a big banner that just said welcome ape <laughs> like one of those, i don't know i can't explain my it favorite, without my favorite it, just, onion article i think to this day is like a uh, boy pleads go- to God for a cure for cancer. God replies no, and it's like a gravestone or something like that. The old Onion <laughs> videos were really funny, too. Did you ever see the one of the um, uh, kid who kidnapped that like old Mexican lady in his no, closet I, and thought it was E.T.? I- yeah, I don't remember, but <laughs> like what? fed her Reese's pieces in a closet for like ten years because she thought it was E.T. That's hilarious. Did what you the hear the one you? about? Oh, never mind. I mentioned this. That's serious stuff to say, man. Sorry. I was just going to say, uh, after our porn conversation, what if you have one thing to say to you, to, if you had a, a, a fan base that loved you and respected your, your, your words, what would you want the takeaway to be for these people? Go ahead, Sean. If I had a fan base that loved and respected my words, play more chess. I subscribe. meant about the porn conversation, <laughs> but eat okay. More pussy. <laughs> eat more pussy, bro. All right, fair enough. Zach, what do you got? <laughs> um... Uh, go out, experiment, have fun, be afraid to, um, uh, be, did I say be afraid? Yeah, <laughs> should I be say afraid. be afraid? Okay, don't be, be afraid. Be afraid of vagina. It's okay. <laughs> uh, go out there, you little explorer. Go Can out I take fun. my back? Can I take my Mess some stuff up, but not that bad. If um, I had serious advice, I'll, your, I'll your do struggles are real. Uh, your struggles are real, despite me maybe not experiencing them alongside you. I love you. In the words of Death Grips, be the freak you want to be. Just don't follow me or something like that. Go ahead, Sean. Okay, why didn't that... That actually didn't trigger Tristan's... Something's up. Bro, okay, well, you're... you guys preach okay, to uh, lost teenage boys. I think my dinner's ready. I'll be right back. What if that, was him? What if that was his alarm the whole time? Probably was. But, um, you have to figure it out. It's pissing me what off. I would, what I would Is genuinely... Is it still going? I don't hear okay, anything. Uh, like, next time we hear it, we'll just see if it triggers. I don't hear anything. My computer, my laptop's charged. See, the problem is, it's you're, while you're talking, it goes off, and I don't know. Tap, hello, 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 hello. All right, stop. No one make any noise for like 10 seconds. All right, stop. Collaborate and that listen. That cannot be real. Yeah, that's so weird. Do you that's... hear stuff? I don't hear anything. No, I, just... I don't even know if it's coming. I, I don't want to freak you out. I Because sometimes it goes off and I don't see your thing move. It's not me. It's you. But um, what I would genuinely I mean, it's say. Not you, it's me. Sure. There's, there's, a, there's an app or something called Cold Turkey. I used to use this actually for YouTube in college. But it, it locks. It goes into like your fucking BIOS or something. And it, it literally whitelists whatever website you want for a time period that you want. And you have to go in and like completely uninstall and delete files for this thing to go away. And for the duration that you set, you cannot go to that website or use that app on your computer. It's like rooted into your fucking Windows thing. And I had a I had a business idea. Could I? Well, one second for porn okay, addiction. Sorry. I really think if so, any back kind of a, porn, God works. Back any back kind porn. of addiction. It's the porn. Episode. I think you should be able to take at least a week off of engaging with the activity. And then you should be able, you should gauge how you are feeling during that week. I can do that with just about anything and not have mm. a problem with it. Mm. And that'll that, give you some it, insight, you know? That'll you give go. you some does insight on like how you use porn or something. Tristan, what's the takeaway? I'm hearing the beep, know, but I'm not. It's definitely beeping. It's definitely him beeping, no question. Tristan, I almost. Oh, I can see the carbon monoxide in the glass. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> There's nothing going on here. Tristan, can I ask you a favor? Yeah, go for it. You really like go on your phone or something, or like bring your laptop over to your carbon monoxide all thing and show us that it's not beeping because it is absolutely beeping. You've drowned it out, guys. Nothing is going on in my. <laughs> nothing's going off in my I apartment. I swear on everything, dude. It's there your. It, there's beeping in your house. That <laughs> <laughs> just happened again. You didn't hear that at all. <laughs> there's nothing. You guys are. Uh, okay, I, I yeah, I. There's definitely be like, guys, I'm freaking out. I'm, what are you guys talking about? I don't mean to freak you out, but like your screen will flash purple and we'll hear this. It sounds like shoe scuffing or an alarm or something. Like, it sounds like if you don't have your your batteries battery. in your 
your your fire alarm. Do you have a wait? Do you have a an air air conditioner unit? Bro, no, it's it's off. But does the filter need to be replaced? Because mine does that. Mine beeps when I need to replace the filter on my AC. Guys, I don't hear anything in my apartment. There is okay, okay. zero sound coming from my apartment. I'm you, dude, it there is, is silent. There is, there is nothing okay. coming from my apartment. And you're telling me that there's just sounds that are... There is, I, my headphones are off. I can hear it inside this room. There is nothing. Bro. <laughs> Bro, he doesn't believe that there's sounds in this apartment. There's, there's LeBron James is squeaking his shoes on your floor, bro. I'm telling you. Nothing. It's silent. Is it, it the thing is, like, the thing the is you start talking and then we hear it again. And it's, it's like, something with the program. Is it still going off? It Not just now. did two seconds ago. No, it didn't. Yeah. If I leave and come back, you think that could help? I know. It's something in your apartment, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm done trying to act like this is there's something <laughs> we're not acting like nothing. Okay, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. Ben, we'll, we'll just drop it. We'll drop it. Everything what is. What the fuck is going on? It's not a bit. I swear to God, it's not this a bit. This is a bit. You guys no, are fucking with me like you always fuck with Zach. I don't like it, okay? <laughs> I don't like You guys are fucking with me. We'll play I'm it dr- back. We'll play it back tomorrow. We'll show you a clip of it going off. It'll be fine. It's just a battery thing, I'm sure, somewhere. My shit's plugged in 100%. No, no, like it. like the on the ceiling, like the detector. Smoke now you're detector, be- carbon monoxide detector. I don't, there's none near me. The only one is fucking, is in the hallway. It's not even fucking plugged in. I, I took out the battery. That's the issue. I'm smoking here. That's the issue. It's not, I don't hear anything. There's nothing going on in the fucking room. Are you, how, how could you be hearing it? But I can't be hearing it. And I'm in the fucking room. Because Explain it's a high, such me. a high pitch frequency, it's getting picked up on the microphone, but now your eardrums like a dog whistle. Oh, because I'm 86 years old and my fucking <laughs> ears have de- 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 fucking disintegrated and I can't hear anything. Is that what I don't you know. Say? You tell me. Tristan, walk over to your fucking smoke machine, please. For the love of God, with you the camera, with the with thing. I want to see. I want to see with my own hard. eyes, Tristan, please. Is, there's nothing. I'm going to get another beer. It's not. It's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> How funny would it be if it was your apartment this whole time, Ben? I I've been diligent. Yeah. I don't I, I don't think I, it's us. Well, he would. Tristan would have heard it yes, too. There's nothing. It's yeah, not my fault. This is not my fault. All three of us are hearing it from Tristan's thing, and Tristan's not hearing it from either anyone. So it's definitely coming from him. Because if he was if he said, "Oh, I hear it, but it's not from me," that'd be one thing. But I think you're just missing it. Like there's not a bit. This is absolutely not a bit. <sighs> Okay, can I try and leave and coming back and maybe that helps? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, go yeah. ahead. I, hold on, I'll be right back. Invite only. Put on invite only. <laughs> uh, holy we shit. We have to do horrible um, stuff like that. Look at the two hosts. Look at the two boys. It's not um, just us. With it. I, well, I have Sean in the middle of us, but it, it's an we, empty Sean. We, we used to do awful stuff on Xbox. Well, not awful, like really bad jokes. We'd be like, hey, um, hey, Ben, what's the shape of Italy? What does Italy look like? A boot. And then I'd kick you from the party. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Lame. Is it doing it? Are you guys fucking with me? Oh, no. It, it just uh, did it again. It just, just did, did it again. again. Is this like, okay, I'll talk to you boys later. You guys have a great rest of the it's podcast. It's not that bad unless yeah, Ben wants ten. to. No, no, no. That's, that's too much work. You guys have a great rest of the time. I appreciate it being no, on. No. Thank you for this having me. This isn't a bit, though. I, hope, I really... <laughs> no, no. It's, I know. It probably is some real technical issues, but I don't hear anything. It might be the frequency. I don't know. Zach might... I have no idea. You well, have, we, like, a neighbor trying to freak out your it? dog. Is there a way to... Uh, hold on. Let me screen record I mean, oh, an OBS, and then I'll send you it the next time it happens. That's the thing. Even if you're correct, there's nothing that I could... That's... I could do to change this. Well, we have... The, Tristan, the, but I... I it's a... It, we, <laughs> We have. A, I have a bit that I want to do with you, specifically you. Yeah. Hold on, I gotta. Not I gotta related find to any fire alarms. Not a, they're not related to the yeah. fire alarm. That would be I a funny way to, to reveal that it was a bit the whole time. I want to do no. a bit with you where I reveal to you that there is <laughs> yeah, no fire. Yeah. Alarm. You that's upload a video and it just says we trick Tristan <laughs> into thinking there's a fire alarm going off. It's like that's the title card. <laughs> And then you just <laughs> upload the recording that just happened back to him, and we live react to it all over again. I Wait, have maybe a- if I maybe if I mute my mic, then you won't hear it. I mean, yeah, that would be okay. Let's just see. Let's just see what happens. 
Yeah, we can't. Wait, I can't hear you now, though. He Tristan. muted, though. But give me, give, give him like, let's take like thirty seconds or something to see. I'll just be like the real. I'll react with my face and expression. Tr- Tristan, what's your? Do you have an Instagram, Tristan? No. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. I know he, does, he, does, he has one, but he doesn't use it. What is it? What is it? Tell me what it is. <clears throat> I'll find it for you. I don't give a fuck. This guy. He can't even. He can't even. He can't even defend himself. It's fucking goon. It's fucking goofball. I don't think you can say that anymore. I'll send you, it to you. It's Triss. Oh yeah, you got it. Never mind. How many W's? Just one. It's just one. Okay. No, I'm looking at it right now. It's it's one. It's just one. Right. I haven't heard it's, the fire alarm. It's yet. one, and your fire alarm is going off. <laughs> you well, still hear it? Muted now. <laughs> you still hear it? No. No, we don't still hear it. Oh, no, so at least not I'm right muted, now. So maybe that's that's crazy. That's it's all a, I can say about that. Okay, Tristan, I want to do an Instagram deep dive with you. <sighs> okay. <laughs> what is this? That was a video that I made in some time that you can see at the bottom there. That's what I, it's something that I want to do more, okay? That's a video of me surfing with my friend Nick, and it's like a little intro video with some music, and uh, it's kind of like a skate video, but if skating was surfing, and I like, uh, I like surfing, and I want to make more videos like that in the future, and I'm going to make some more. Okay. Get back to California. All right. So. Wait, when are you going back to California? He's going back, back to California. End of July, I'll be there middle of August. There you go. All right. Yes. What about this one? That's me and my buddy. Uh, oh, wow. This from high school. I don't even remember his name. Holy That's shit. That's a nice car for high school. Wait, what's his name? What's his name? Jeff from Bezos. Anthony's <laughs> Andrew? No, it's not Andrew. Michael. Michael, me and my friend Michael, and uh, yeah, I just basically am like, hey, we should shoot a car video, and he's like, okay, cool, I just wrapped my car, and I'm like, let's go to a car wash, get some shots, and then let's go through a neighborhood and get some more shots, and then we'll throw some music together. A predominantly black neighborhood. Armenian, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> Same thing. <clears throat> All right, what's fun about this one? <laughs> this is me in New Jersey. This is the first one with my Black Magic 4K. It's me smoking a joint, uh, and then I just like got some cool shots. It starts off black and white, and then after smoking the joint is when the color comes in and everything's very saturated. And it's just me in a park taking shots of stuff. And uh, yeah, not too not too interesting in that one. And that, I literally just posted that because I'm like, I haven't posted in a while, and I think that's the last one I posted. I haven't wait, posted you, since. You have your own black magic camera? Yes, I have the Black Magic Pocket 4K that I bought for seventeen hundred dollars as a kit on eBay, and I didn't get scammed. Congrats! That's a really good camera. We're gonna need more than that if we record record regurgitated IRL. Yeah, right, we might one. rent out another one when he comes here. Oh, that one I think is my favorite one. I just was it was a like pumping day at first point, and I'm like, hey, let me come down with the camcorder, super basic. You're able to digitally zoom, so I got some like 200x sh- shots from the pier, and I was just like, I thought of it as like, there's a lot of people on Instagram who surf at, at Malibu, so I'm like, let me just make this video capturing a bunch of those people, and then maybe I'm like, tag people that you know in the comments, so that maybe that could like spread out to more oh, people, and they smart. know that I do video. Smart, yeah. I-, I need to do that on like an actual. That's what I'm planning to okay, do because they have. Basis. Yeah, they have actual like professional contests that go down and I'm like, I got to record one of those and then just like send them to the professionals. And then maybe one of them's like, Hey, I like what you're doing. We should make, or like, just be like, I'd like to make like a little documentary or something a little short. So, so, um, Oh, that was not funny and boring. I had a good, I had a good response. That's a good goal. Don't be sorry. The alarm's still going off. No. Thank God. Zach is so bored. He's just scrolling IG. At this no, look at these glasses. I can't see it. They yeah, make it's, you, it's they make you the go. Side. Gotta be right, it's got to be right in front of you. Oh, Willy Wonka? They make you, you go. Happy, huh? 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 These glasses. 
<gülüyor> Demek ki cevap. Ben de that so good. Oh. Oh. Um, <gülüyor> my question to you was who won the WSL or whatever. That's not over yet. The person they got three the final months five? of surfing, what about, dude. What about Trestle Final Five? What, who's the who's in the Trestle final, final Five? Trestle Final Five is coming in. That's the last contest of the season. Bro, you did your Griffin research. Call Pinto, you did your... Griffin Call Pinto is still in the first place. Good stuff, Ben. Mm-hmm. The last contest that was in El Salvador, um, I think it was uh, Toledo. Toledo's won. in El Philippe, Salvador. Philippe Toledo won the contest. Philippe Toledo. And he got okay. into third place, so it's getting close. Yeah, they, they were all like, hanging ten. Oh. Yeah, I bet they. Were, that's that's longboard, but yeah, it's kind of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah, bet they were all uh, hitting hitting that monster wave. Yeah, they, the lip. Yeah, yeah the they lip. Were, yeah, his, they were yeah, certainly yeah. hitting the lip. Right, for sure. Lip pulling in, get a little cover up, a little head dip, you a little head dip. Who are the final, a, a who are the final five? Are there, is it not five people? Is it five destinations? Uh, no, it's five people at Trestles. Um, Let me. I Where's can get you. I know, you ever have number popcorn one is, with trestles oil? What? Hey, I thought of a joke this oil? morning. <laughs> is that was that the reach that, that you just exactly made? Was from trestles to you, uh, you got it. There wasn't a reach. I don't know. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's crazy. They could say that. Uh, what's what's longboarding versus surfing? <laughs> okay, just think of it. Okay, with your brain for a second. <laughs> A long board, and then there's a short board. So which one? Oh, so oh, so they call it short boarding, not surfing. Well, yeah, they, when, when the professional surfing is with short boards, typically <laughs> six to five feet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a baby coming out. It of looks so ears. good when he does it. <laughs> it does. It's just the angle is so perfect for him. <laughs> I'm able to adjust with the camera. Yeah, it's because I think it's because the camera's looking up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I look like a shrimp. <laughs> Her POV. <laughs> she sees that when she's. Like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Ladies, uh, I'm oh, hanging shit. ten and I'm banging men. <laughs> That's uh, such a good slogan: hanging ten and banging men. That's yeah. like. Ooh, that's like that's like wing stops fucking that, John's drink uh, John John's drinking fuck juice over there. <laughs> I'm a juicy freak. Is it freak? <laughs> how's, uh, how's work been, uh, Zach? Oh, yeah. it's been great. That's As good. your boss for reset. Yeah, how's how's work going, Zach? <laughs> it's going great. Yep. Yeah. Good. I'm happy to hear. Are you feeling about- are, you, are you feeling creatively fulfilled at work? Yeah, absolutely. Come here. Okay. Come here. So I'm how not, long are you I work insurance. That mustache? Come here. How do you like insurance? It's boring. Well, do you just use uh GPT now to just write we shit? We just do it all. <laughs> we just do it all in GPT. Yeah, it all. No, it was funny. I actually yeah. I was I showed I showed my um my yeah. boss an Excel macro and he goes <laughs> Is this what they call Chat GPT? And I'm like, no, no, <laughs> not what they call Chat wow. GPT. Yeah. More like Cat GPT. More like Map <laughs> GPT. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Ben gets a job as like chief AI director in his insurance company, and he and just uses just Excel, Excel macros. <laughs> yeah, he's just doing traditional work. Um, arguably harder than just you, whatever Chat GPT would be. ChatGPT could probably do what I do in five seconds, which is crazy because because I, I don't know anything about coding or anything, and it's just very basic yes, you coding. You do, you know a little bit about coding. Yeah, uh, slash. Whoa, fuck! Wait, you know the batch? You did. You wrote zeros a program and for ones your work. And zeros. Don't, don't, well, yeah, don't. I, I, well, I, uh, it was all Google. I don't even remember how I did any of that, oh, to be honest with you. Uh, I was every thinking pro, HTML. Even Mike Googles, bro. Don't take that away from left, you, Joe. Wait, left. I don't know uh, how to edit, man. I Google a lot. Yeah. What? He's I just don't saying, don't take it. away from Google yourself, bro. Yeah. Just because you Google something doesn't mean. So, I, Zach, you're not going to see this until next week, but I wanted to show you a picture that I photoshopped of you during our conversation. My balls. Because I want, I want this reaction. <laughs> I should well, just actually, do that. Funny I enough. should Photoshop everyone here having gay sex, and then come with a new bit <laughs> idea that I'm surprising everyone with, and it's funny just enough. a slideshow of everyone I'm, getting reamed and stretched. I'm going to put this. I'm going to put this in like uh, in guest chat right now. Um, 
So you, 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 we talked to last uh, week or last podcast about, you said, um, you're like, I've been, I've explored a few men and I said, have you? And you said, yeah, what do you need? A, a proof of me, a video of me sucking dick to, to prove to you that I've, I've, I've explored men. So I, I yeah. and then Zach and then, or sorry, Tristan said, all right, flash it. And so this is the Photoshop I made. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You even got the you even got the anime <laughs> blush. Who is that? Why is there a random like erased <laughs> part of my wall? I um that was uh I, I took just one of the selfies you sent me and I put a hot I said I said well, eating I hot know dog. what you did. <laughs> we can see what you did. And then yeah. I, put man, I put man standing over. I remember like <laughs> side of man's face in the top in the top left. So it was like a French baguette. I just wanted I just wanted that reaction I have on video. Cute little anime eyes, honestly. Look at the blushing. You do. No, I don't yeah. got the skin tone right though. Yeah, I didn't even have to take off my Corsair headset. Yeah, just to be clear, we aren't hearing Tristan's beeping anymore, right? I'm not hearing it. That's a great point. I think it was maybe the, the beeping was the friends over. we made along the way. No, yeah. maybe the beeping was every time Sean said a slur last podcast. You yeah, were your baby. Uh -oh. Look at the little baby boy. Dude, you have dude, a weird cat, dude. Dude, I do. What is it called? What's like the, what's like the name of like people who want to fuck their animals? Sean Tristan Werner. Uh, I, mean, <laughs> I, I was gonna say Sean too. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. Is what's there a the, name for that? What's the name for? It's not. Yeah, it's not, there's zoo files. Is it, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, a zoo file. Yeah, zoo file. Yeah, yeah. It's a. It's a. It's a pedophile. Yeah. That was the first mean. joke I ever made on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah. All right, so stupid. Oh, yeah, no, I got a I joke you, I thought of earlier when I was using the bathroom. <laughs> I said, me after I take a big dump, call that holy shit. Mm -hmm. I got when I was in like seventh grade. Whole, holy, wait, what's holy about it? Big whole whole shit oh well but, the, wait, um, the shit isn't holy then you're just shitting it out of a hole I, i've been thinking of like i've been uh, pretty good at like a, a, a joke that is like require what, what's the word i'm looking for like um a, a, an acquired on taste pronouncing a certain word to make it sound racist and i'm, <laughs> okay. I'm getting better at no i'm getting better at, so those those jokes just shoot into my head like puns that it would be that a slur. little minorities. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. great at those. And then I'm, I'm getting really good it's at not letting the. I forget them pretty quickly now. So I think I'm making some progress. I just wanted to. I put just that saw in. the meme you sent me in guest chat as well. Zach. Me? Oh yeah. How do you feel about that? I can't white wait boy. to grow up and own the libs like Daddy Hoss wearing a Costco wholesale rotisserie chicken. I didn't get it for a minute, and I was like, "Oh, it's XD random because Costco wholesale rotisserie chicken." And then I'm like, "Oh, they're cum." They're little cums. Yeah, uh, well, you're I was about also thinking chicken. because you talked about fucking a McChicken, yeah. Yeah. I can't believe you guys haven't seen the fucking... That was like a viral thing when it, came, when it happened. You guys ever see like the, 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 the Logan Paul lookalike getting his fucking... Shit rock? Yeah. Well, yeah. Those seem to chicken. happen every now and then. I saw one of Ice Spice like a few months ago. I don't, I don't, like I said, this is like a, a, a brand of celebrity porn that I just don't care about. You know, like, Again, I'm not seeking this oh, stuff no, out. I'm sorry. Is... Yeah, that's not what I meant to. I, I just mean like, I don't know how. I am. Send it to me. I am. I'm seeking it out. <laughs> well, I, just a weird thing I've noticed where once in a blue moon, they'll be like, this celebrity sex tape just got leaked and it's just someone that kind oh, of resembles PR them. For sure. Yeah. You see Justin Bieber's dick when he fucked that. Did Boston you see the video of Justin Bieber Bieber's dick saying that his one less grandma lonely N word? Took? Did you see that video? What? Did you see that video what? of him being like a 12 year old kid? And he's yeah, saying, yeah, 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 that's sad. That's actually his grandma also took a video of him naked playing music, too. Mm -hmm. There's weird shit with early Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber? Yeah, Justin really? Bieber, uh, like, the more you learn about him, or at least the more I learn about him, the more I feel bad. Like, obviously, he's still kind of a douchebag as an adult, but I'm like, oh, I, he's like broken mentally now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he had a it kind of messed starts. up childhood. All I'm saying yeah. is, you don't have you ever had a conversation with Justin Bieber? No. Yes. And you don't know this bro is, who this he guy is. has met Bernie fucking Sanders. <laughs> yeah, I can meet that anything's possible that. after that yeah. point. I can meet anything's Justin possible. Bieber for sure. One last you know, funny, I was the most gonna... famous person you met ever. I met Gerard Butler. Did you actually meet Gerard? Like it I met him. He was surfing. He was he was doing 
practice for his role for chasing Mavericks. I don't know who don't Gerard know Butler is. He's, oh, an he's, actor. A, he's a great actor. Never heard of him. Yeah, he's the lead singer for My Chemical Romance. Yep. <laughs> I have realized there's a lot of like, especially actors who I just know nothing about. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the same way. I don't know anything about like industry actors. I don't know. Who I, the most famous can I tell person you I a story of a, a famous person I almost met. I almost met Samuel L. Jackson, but my school, it was a Washington DC trip for eighth grade. And because I had ADHD, my school decided not to put me in with any of the major groups, but they put me in the group of five horribly autistic people with the, Are you guide, the story with like the guidance four. cousin. Oh, okay, I think, I've already uh, told the story. Yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. Not about the Samuel L. Jackson part. I don't know about that. Oh yeah. So I'm in this group in Washington D.C. and I have to be with the mentally challenged. Kids. And I don't. I don't mean that in a light way. I mean these people are fucked. They're like mentally challenged. Yeah. And I they put you where you should be. So <laughs> you and I get a text from my friend like, bro, all of the groups are outside of the Smithsonian Museum of Science. Samuel L. Jackson is here waving and signing shit. And I go to the guidance counselor, our team lead, our group lead. And I was like, can we please leave this fucking McDonald's and go to this Miss Smith? And she's like, we're going to put it up to a vote to the group. And she's like, guys, what do you want to do? I heard Sean says Samuel L. Jackson might be, she said, might be in front of the Smithsonian. And I'm like, no, I have text from John. It, it is going down. <laughs> Samuel Jackson is like, Half a mile, a quarter of a mile down the road. And then fucking <laughs> fucking <laughs> and I don't remember the other retard in the group. We're like, no, we want our McDonald's. <laughs> and we sat in fucking McDonald's. And I'm like, oh my god, I fucking hate it. I'm gonna kill myself. Anyway, that was um, I'm I still my, have a the lot most of famous person I ever met was I could have met Samuel when I was fucking, in Disney. Shut up, you pussy. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I met Mickey and Minnie in the safari area. It was really awesome. Yeah. That was a good find. Yeah, I um, I've met I met I met a few famous people. I, I, it's weird because like th- there's a fine line between met and have been in the same room yeah. with. You know, um, I met Bernie Sanders. He was in a rush, but he was cool. I met uh, Art Monk and Daryl Green from the previous Washington football team, formerly known as the Washington, uh, you know what? Um, I met Seal at Disneyland. Uh, or Disney World, whatever the one in California is. Seal Team Six. Um, Wait, who's Seal? You know, uh, the, singer. Yeah, black R and B singer. He's like a yeah. uh, kiss from a rose. Kiss Come from on. a rose on a man. Yeah, my yeah. my boss is like semi famous. My boss is like D tier yeah. famous. Yeah, your boss <laughs> is like, like a, D to C tier famous. He has a TV show. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, what network? Uh, moving on. <laughs> I'll just say A and E. It's uh, not that big of a deal. Um, oh, I, I was genuinely curious. What, 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 what was I going to say? Um, but I used to, as a kid, like make up stories about almost meeting celebrities all the time, to specifically yeah. Ethan, but like a few people. Um, this was based off of a real event, but Barack Obama came to speak at my school when I was in high school. Um, and what was really fucked up about that was they only let seniors go see him. I don't know why, maybe it was a space thing, but Obama came to my school. I was like two rooms over watching it on YouTube. That pissed me off beyond belief that my school brought Obama to my you school. You should have broke in there and be like, God, what I is literally going on? Literally like, shot dead. <laughs> there was literally people protesting outside of my school because, you know, People are weird. People drones? have to take everything extra. No, just people just didn't like Obama. Oh, so, they don't like black person. Yeah, I guess something like that. <laughs> Either way, I had to like push. But we through. won, motherfucker. I had to like push through a crowd of people to get to school just to not see Obama. But I made up this story afterwards just because I thought it was funny. Like I didn't think I would be taken seriously. I just thought it'd be funny to tell the story where like I was so upset by this ordeal that like I skipped class. And um, I knew that Obama was talking in my gymnasium. So I went out to the parking lot by the gymnasium and I caught him on the way to the motorcade and I got to stop him. And he's like, he told me I would like do great things or something like that. (laughs) Yeah. Like I made up some weird bullshit conversation I had with Barack Obama. He saw the future and he saw this podcast. 
Yeah, I, I give this random long-winded story about how I like snuck out of class to go in this parking lot to meet Obama. But one, one of my favorite stories was how I beat Eminem at Halo 3, where <laughs> okay. um, one of my... I give this really... His name was Marshall Mathis. <laughs> I swear it was... Are, are you guys familiar with like Norm MacDonald? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. At all. R. He, R. His, oh, yeah. My God. I have his book over there. I'm like the biggest Norm MacDonald fan. But this was a very similarly structured story where I just went on forever for like a very Norm MacDonald-esque punchline. But it was like, yeah. So one of my friend's dad's is like the manager for like one of the concert venues around here. And back when Eminem, you know, did live shows more frequently, he had came through here and I had put in a request like, Hey, is there any way we can get tickets or anything in here? Uh, Is there any way we can get in? And he was like, okay, well, let me put you in contact with Eminem's manager. Right. So I go email him. I write this whole big thing up and I'm like, Hey, you know, I'd love to like one this is the fake story? Halo three. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to skip a bunch of stuff, but somehow I end up emailing this manager that like, I heard Eminem likes video games. He was really good at like Donkey Kong or whatever. And I want to test him out on like one of the video games that I um, love Halo three. Is there any way I could 1v1 Halo, Eminem and Halo 3? And he didn't respond, so I won by default. <laughs> I gave this, I like set it up as this big, like, I have this amazing yeah. story to tell you. You're never going to believe this. And I talked for like 15 minutes straight about That's this whole favorite, story. Yeah. And I just ended it with, and he didn't respond, so I won by default. <laughs> there was That's a funny. joke that they would always tell, and in, in, at camp it was a similar story where, um, it was this guy in his whole life that he wanted uh, uh, he wanted I think he's like one of two pink ping pong balls or something like that and then it's like a whole thing where he goes through all the fellas, family members and all his friends and they, they you know they don't get him what he wants and then one person finally gets him what he wants and as soon as he's about to give it to him he dies it's like the whole joke <laughs> <laughs> that, that's just you know that's like hard rock comedy yeah what, what is hard rock comedy what does that mean I mean, that's hard rock right. cafe right there dude <laughs> that's rock hard cafe you know sometimes you're like <laughs> i have to continue talking to end a sentence yeah yeah, yeah. and then that's what came out of my mouth <laughs> at that moment hard rock comedy Did you get that beeping fixed though tristan <laughs> yeah actually i heard it the whole time i was just fucking with you guys I, <laughs> you know what's first up? alarm going off and the house is burning down you know you know what's fucked up about doing this podcast on a thursday is <laughs> that in my mind, I thought it was a this Friday, Thursday? and I'm drinking al- and I'm drinking alcohol. And I, if I didn't like, rem- <laughs> oh, oh my, my god. fucking god, oh my god, Tristan. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Before we get on Tristan's ass, I didn't see his, I, didn't, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't see yeah. his voice box go out highlight in purple. I think because I, I, it was such a quick sound, it didn't. It didn't go mm-hmm. all the way purple. I clicked off the screen. So maybe that had something to do with it. Is it doing it again? No. That was Was no, no, no. no. Oh yeah. I I just I just feel like I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and miss work. I uh, don't have work tomorrow. I'm drinking alcohol. I didn't think about that. I I just I don't have work tomorrow, so I uh, I mean it's gonna be a shorter episode anyway. Unemployed. Oh yeah, are we going home? Yeah, we're going home after this. Yeah, for sure. Um, I have I have Tuesday off. Bro, oh, I, have, I have Monday and Tuesday off. I don't have a job, so I I wake up at whatever time I please, and then I make one thumbnail for a client. And then, how do you sustain life in New Jersey doing that? Thumbnails are very expensive in New York. No, 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 no. They're not, no, no. My rent is paid for the rest until August by my boss. And oh, then I leave here. I see. So I'm not paying rent, nor am I getting a paycheck. So like, I have a place to stay. How do you get food? Um, I was going to visit you this last weekend, Tristan, but I didn't. Dude, straight up, I would visit you within a week. You should. I'd visit if you. If you guys can, there's no one here. I always. honestly, what I wanted to do was, uh, for the next podcast, be at Tristan's house and then be in his setup and then join the join the the chat. The beeping is happening so much more it's often. It's happening what way more happening. frequent. What the fuck? Yeah, wait, that was like three gonna, beeps I'm, in a row. I'm going to leave and rejoin. I think no, that I, might fix it. Uh, it did fix it last time. No, it didn't. I <laughs> remember it kept it going did. on. <laughs> until you muted yourself That's for there's no, wor- there's no planet where you don't hear, what, hear okay, that sound. Okay, so, something's happening. 
Tristan, you didn't send what city you're in. Tristan, we should take a 3D tour of your home before and after you've been murdered. I've already done it. I have a th- I have two versions of your murder. I didn't I didn't tell you about the. New you said this was going to be a short. Yet. I'm not trying to rush oh. anything. You said this was going to be a short video or a short podcast. Me? Shut the yeah. Fuck up, Sean. <laughs> do you have a hard yes. out? Do you have a hard out? Just because I don't no, want to. Yeah, I mean, I was thinking an hour and a half to two hours okay. in that range. Maybe maybe two hours max. Yeah. Okay. Let's make so, it. A, let's make it forty five minutes. It's been an hour and eleven. Oh, okay. What I had, a, I had, a, I had a conversation topic I wanted to bring up. Oh, you guys see the submarine? Yeah. You know what? I, I I have something to say about this. I have something to say about the submarine. Okay. Speak your truth. You were supposed to be on it, and you had to die, but yeah. then you didn't. Mr. Go Beast because... texted me and said, "Hey, boys, I've been watching the regurgitated <laughs> podcast. That's crazy. And I'd love to take you on a submarine. I got a text. <laughs> I got a Titanic." I got a text from Zach saying, I can't make it to this thing that Mr. Beast invited me to. Do you want to go? And I said, I couldn't. That's, that's, that's crazy, crazy because that. Obama told me to get on a submarine a few days ago. <laughs> Is that why that guy showed up in my house with that black dildo? I mean, that was for something else. <laughs> I have something to say about the submarine. The gay sex. Go ahead. That was for the gay sex thing. Yeah. I'm awesome. very happy that the submarine incident happened because I feel like it's been a really long time where we as a society have had a balloon boy incident. Right. We're like everyone on Facebook is making memes about it. It's constantly on TV. You know what I mean? It's a little tragic. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to put any weird angles with it. Like people on Twitter being like, it's good that billionaires are dying or like, actually, you should shut the fuck up. There was a children on that. I'm not even trying to say that. I'm just so happy that there was an event that happened that got everyone in the world paying attention again to take our minds away from the other fucked up shit that's going on. Yeah, we probably what? invaded Poland or something on that day too. I don't know. But um I, I don't care. I'm ju- I'm just happy that that there's just a universal thing that my grandma will know about, that Twitter will know about. You know what I mean? Like everyone around the world can just know about it and just get a little get a little laugh in or just No one's going to give a fuck in 20 bit. years. No one's going to, you know, this situation is going to be yeah. like, a, it's going to be like a TikTok moment where it's like, you remember back in 2023 when the sub read and plot, like, yeah, no one's going to remember the podcast episode 27. I'm exactly. happy that something so irrelevant happened that captures our attention and distracts us for a little bit. Like it's been a long time. A negative, terrible thing. Is that what you're happy about? I don't give a shit. I'm just saying, like, the Balloon Boy, the Malaysian Airlines flight, like, it's been a long time since we've had something that talked about a thing, is what you're saying. Yeah, I I, I totally get what you're saying. Talked about a thing that's not, like, an election or a war or, like, the economy. You got to talk about chess? End the show. Um... So I got a question. I, I got a question for you, no, finance I wizards, an because I don't know how to. I don't yeah, know what I'm doing. Yeah, you don't want to diversify that fund. Ben, put in the clip it of the in half. Throw it in a nice ten percent EBITDA, twelve percent, and you know dividend investment. Ben, put in the uh, clips. Put in the clip of the Wu Tang Clan where they say you got to diversify your bonds. You need to diversify your bonds, nigga. Can you send it to me, or are you going to forget? And then I'm going to forget the I'll message do it right now. Okay. So I got a question. I want to buy a laptop, but it's a thousand dollars and I don't want to just drop a thousand dollars out of nowhere. Would it be would it be weird? Because I want to finance it. Right the only way to finance business. it is th- through Best Buy. It's zero percent if you pay it on time, but I have to get a, fi- a Best Buy gift uh, a credit card. And I, can I just cancel the credit card after I pay it off? Yeah. But you shouldn't yes, cancel the credit can. card. You should keep it open. I, don't want I actually Buy, don't I, cancel. No, you don't want then don't do it. Card. If you don't want a Best Buy okay. credit card, then don't do it because it'll fuck your credit up when you close yep. it. Yeah, when you close okay. it, it fucks your credit that card. That that answers but that. If you that's leave the line open. open, if you want to do financing, pay it pay it on your normal credit card and then pay that off later or over time or in payments or see if they have an option like uh, what is it. Klarna or whatever the okay, so you I was PayPal use, payments. Hey, let use me PayPal and do it in payments or something. Listen, I wouldn't recommend it either, but do listen. that over the credit card idea. No, no, no. What do you need this laptop for? Is it for work? No. For okay. Fun. If you don't have money to buy it outright, you don't need it. I know I have That's money a, to buy it outright. I just don't want to. Why can't you? But I don't want to spend all the money outright. Ben, you well, need then a then you don't need I, I, I have money. money spent. I have really bad money spending guilt, like really bad. So I just don't want to buy it outright. No, no, no. 
then 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 you're going to take out a loan so you can buy it. So then, you know, what if you do miss a payment one time and then they charge you however so, much interest on whatever that so fucking- I, I So I'll tell you what I was trying to do. I was trying to go through Afterpay. Uh, but Afterpay, because uh, well, you, you can pay it in increments. Four, you gotta, it's four weeks. You pay it, uh, pay it once a week. I think it's four weeks. Or maybe it's four. Every, uh, whatever. It's four payments. So I was like, okay, it's two fifty each, right? Which I can definitely do. Like that's that's much more doable. I'll get, have much less guilt doing that over time. I changed my number, so I and I had two F two factor authentication on Afterpay. So I had to change my number on Afterpay, and then they were then I so they were like, hey, send me a picture of your ID. So I said, okay. So I sent a picture of my ID, and they're like, oh, uh, it's now send a picture of your birth certificate. I'm like, why? And they're like, so we can change that's your name. That's really like, weird. That's I'm a like, really I, weird one. I'm like, I don't want to change my name. It'd they're be like, one thing oh, if they had you enter in a social. Like that's yes, that's private, but at yeah. least that's like a normal thing for running credit checks. A picture of your birth certificate is. Uh, yeah, I'm like, that's... yeah, they're they're like they're like we want a picture of your your your, we, your name doesn't match the name of the account. And I'm like, I don't know what the fuck you're on about. I don't know what other name I would do it. I just ignored it. Yeah. I could have done it. I could have done it through Afterpay, kind of. I would have to. I would have have had to buy two Best Buy gift cards worth five hundred dollars each, but I could have done it. I didn't, but I, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to wait All right, until um, I can buy it outright. I'm not big on credit, so I. I I don't have a credit card. Have you so guys have no tried the Gribbit shake? Because I would never drink that. Did you just call it the no. Gribbit shake? Grib- <laughs> the Grimace shake. I have a. The I have, do you, have you ever tried the, the Gribby shake? Um, the I have shake. a speech impediment, and you're being very neurotypical uh, racist right now. Yeah, well, fucking you should. Figure it you out, fucking okay? do- doink head. Stupid bitch. Um, <laughs> you should fucking figure it mouth out. Fucking, breathing window you, licker. You big rotacism bitch. <laughs> um, no, uh, no, I have not tried it. Um, I saw. I had the option to try it. I'm not, and I and I I didn't take well, it. So they the didn't want it. To try it. <laughs> and um, uh, the fact that they we're talking about this means that they have won. Their marketing campaign has yeah, won. No, well, well like there's it. the and Rapa fucking the death scenes, the uh, the, the grimace death scenes. What is memes? that? I know the I memes. Don't, I don't know. I am a McDonald's enthusiast. I like to try as many McDonald's things as possible. However, they said it was very berry cereal milk, and I do not want a cereal milk milkshake, so I will pass. Dude, it looks that like I'm going to break good. my arm, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, Edit that. Top. Liquify tool, Ben. <laughs> yeah. Um... I broke that arm when I. I, I really want this laptop though, and I'm pissed off that I that I I have what's, to spend a thousand dollars. You don't need what's it. I, just, you don't I need haven't it right had now. a laptop just since I was like a bit, eighteen. Just save up for just save up for like three months, and then you won't have that. I can save up for like three, three paychecks, and 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 I have more more than enough money for this. I just hate spending a thousand dollars outright. I spent six hundred dollars on this phone, and I wanted to kill myself. I so. but that that's a. That doesn't make any sense. Why? It's like, do you understand the logic though? It's like you either pay it now and get it now all together, or they have to hassle you to Tristan, fucking get Tristan, there's an emotional disconnect from the lot from the logic. Like, like yeah, logically, I, I you're have, making sense, but emotionally, easy. Ben's yeah. making sense. Yeah, that makes Zach got it. He's the mediator. Thank you, Zach. He had, I do have that he, issue he, a lot. He's got big meat too. What? When I, when I was going through a period in my life where I was more depressed, I think I recognized within myself that like there was a disconnect between my logical brain and my emotional brain, right? Like I can logically understand information, but sometimes if even though I can logically understand a piece of information, I can't emotionally understand it. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Like factually a thing can be true and I can recognize it to be true, but emotionally it doesn't feel true. Like that was a big disconnect. I, I I learned about myself, and I can see how if I'm applying that to finance, right? It's like you Ben knows the numbers don't matter in this scenario. Like no matter what, it, it's the same. It's just about how do I format this to make myself not feel guilty? Yeah, it's 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 purely, and it's and it's a product of my, my parents were big, very resourceful and big savers. So it's like. I could be saving that money yeah. instead of spending it on a laptop. It's the same shit. Yeah. So um, if Ben wants to make extra money to make a laptop, he's going to have to fly out here, bend over, and make that grimace shake. I have an, I have an ethical question for you. That was a good one. That's awesome. That was awesome. That was awesome, <laughs> that was Zach. Good that was good. Thank that was you. great. Bring it all Thank around. You. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Your face is the color of the grimace shake when you have the purple light on. Go ahead, Tristan. I have an ethical question for you. If you were... If let's color say, let's grade say, me wait. now, bitch. <laughs> Go ahead. If you had, if, Tristan just went quiet. He was like, <laughs> I, I just <laughs> you're so scared. That screen is so pixelated. I can't even see him. It's all right. Uh, He's good looking. It's cool. It'll be He's good, good looking. Recording. Yeah, it will. It will be good. 
uh, it keeps reassuring me. It, it'll pop up. It's like actual recording is higher quality. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you let's just say regurgitate it gets really big and you're like, okay, well, let's say it gets really big. Okay? <laughs> and let's say that you like, you need a couple assistants to start doing something. Okay. In your head, you're like, hey, I could hire Jessica, went to some college and is going to charge me $50 an hour. Or I can go on this freelance website and go to Malaysia and get this guy who will do a week's worth of pay for 60 bucks. Do you have any moral or ethical dilemmas? Which one would you pick? No, we've used, uh, oh, not we as in me and Ben, um, but I've worked with people that have done uh, outsourced editing work. It kind of sucks to be a freelancer too, uh, especially for like video editing right now because you are competing with outsourced uh, uh, people. But, um, you know, I've worked in companies that do outsourcing. I've worked with companies that do outsourcing. And um, I, I don't think there's any moral issues I have with it because those people are making bank. Like, I remember we paid this one freelancing person like, I don't know, it was like 60 bucks for a project or whatever in, in the Philippines. And That's I did the so math on it and it was like seven grand of like buying power. <laughs> mm, yeah, and I was like, yeah. holy shit. Now, I'm sure I got some of that math wrong and it was at a different year or two. So I'm sure someone, some point Dexter out there is crunching numbers and yelling at me. But the point is, is like the amount US people pay them is absorbently high. Mm-hmm. I think the yes. issue comes down to when you're running a business is how much control do you want over these people, right? Like how much like communication you do like you want to have? Like a shop like Nike, you know what I mean? Well, That's these people aren't producing physical some- labor. You're talking about like yeah. video editing, right? Or like making yeah, exactly. thumbnails. Yeah, these people aren't like sweat shopping it. Like they're they're doing editing work. They're doing creative work. Yeah, um, yeah I I think like if if, no ben, if ben and I were in a bind to scale, Sean, are you having a good time? Are you having a good time here? You seem pretty. Well, this this happy beer is like fucking hit me, bro. I'm fine. <laughs> me uh-huh. me when the beer kicks in. Hey, me when she's wait, sucking wait. me in the beer. Is in. If you want to, if you want to, uh, Sean, you can lay on the floor and just put the camera next to you so that yeah. you can like, you can like, you know, see what I'm saying? Yeah, lay on the floor, go to sleep. This would be like a. Uh, He's your, no pants on. Look how skinny he is. For you. He's, he's so it's skinny. Really nice. He's you actually this skinny boy. <laughs> I'm taking <laughs> a to sit on that, dude. All right, yeah, oh, I use that once. <laughs> he's gonna sit his own chair. A, I used that as <laughs> he's at a gaming convention. I used that once at a at a for a chick. She's like, I like your mustache, and I'm like, you should sit on it. And then she was just like, okay. And she did. Or? You used you said and she that? did. I did. It was on Tinder. No, it wasn't. And this is on Instagram where I already met her. So it wasn't was on Tinder. Then. Then. No, no, it wasn't. I was on. It was on Instagram. I already met her in person. Bro, there was this there was this girl on Hot or Not um that uh was we, hot or we not? were talking we were talking for a little bit. She well, 5. wait until you hear. Five point three. We were talking for a little bit. Five point three eight, sorry. And she, <laughs> and she I'm still uh, being interrupted right now. And she, wait, wait, but Zach, it's important. She said important she said that she'd only have sex with me if I paid her money. Go ahead, Zach. That's a deal. How much was it? <laughs> I matched with this girl like on Twitter bucks. one time. I, I matched with this girl on Tinder one time years ago and she was like, uh, I only let dudes eat me out. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I, was like, I was like weird, Walk. but fair enough. Um, she went, she's I in one that, of the STD, oh I God. assume, right? Wait, I had the sack. I had the same thing. I got like, bro, literally I drove like 45 minutes to an hour to this chick's house across the fucking town. I sneak into her fucking bedroom window through the and front she's door. And she's 12. <laughs> <laughs> she was 13 and then there no, was this grown know. man there with a tv crew <laughs> yeah. no, no, she, she she was of age guys okay stop with the jokes yeah. okay? she was of age i snuck into the bedroom window and i the first thing i did i ate her out and then i'm like okay let's let's go and she's like no i'm done you well wow, you're good like, though you're good at it brother but i'm like i'm like that's great. I'm like, that's cr-. I'm like, wait, yeah, wait. If, okay. If you're that good, like, you, can, you, you should eat me out sometime. That'd be crazy. I'll, I'll show you how you make lesbian yeah. sounds yeah. right in the yeah. sounds. Yeah. That's yeah. perfectly yeah. fine. <laughs> you make the sound like Tristan going down there. <laughs> <laughs> um, me we when I sneak onto a Chris Hansen set. Oh, yeah. Scaling <laughs> businesses. Uh, <laughs> how do you feel about the Supreme <laughs> Court decision? Can I go to, what can is, I go to I, bed? Do you guys mind if I go to bed? Go to, no. go to bed, Sean. Go to bed. Go to Love bed, you, Sean. 
Namaste. Namaste. Let it load, though. Would it be funny if I ate an eclair on the podcast? Yeah. What if we all three ate raw eggs? What is, it? Right what is this? 2012? We all got a raw egg. Raw. Yeah, what if we got an ice bucket and then we poured it on our head and then we said ALS after? No, what we should do is we should go como terrorista. We should do that. We'll, we'll, do we go we'll be frozen. We'll, we'll, do, we'll, 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 we'll be here. We'll, we'll be. Wait, we don't have the song, though. Do the Harlem. That'll be. You'll edit that and make that. You know, yeah, it'll look so much better than just you. You. <laughs> Me dancing like a retard <laughs> on a bed. Um. Yeah, Zach and I had an idea of having a podcast. Um, where uh, we have heart rate monitors on. All four of us have heart rate, heart rate monitors on. I don't know why we do that, but it would be funny. We have we'd have to do something scary though. That would I mean we do the podcast to. from our cars. I don't have a car, so I just do it outside. <laughs> that could work. Or we gotta do something where it's like imagine if we had like money and then like we could like hire someone to go like one of the four of us is gonna get a knock on our door or something, and it's like we hired this person to do xyz yeah. and they, like come to your house i don't know i think that would, that would oh we be oh and we actually get to have them kill like the other person to see yeah, how their heart rate they murder them yeah the heart rate yeah, goes yeah. to zero which is the funny part yeah yeah yeah. Gotcha. and okay. then we'll just cut to black and say it'll say the end and then some sad music will come in and it'll be like ben loved his life oh, it'll a be like a black and white editor. picture of me like yeah, and then yeah. it'll just say yeah ben, it was like ben loved his life as a video editor but didn't he know that <laughs> loving Behind the bars, Adam. right? I don't know. I watched a movie called Blood In, Blood Out. Cra- the lead actor, the whitest guy you know, and it's literally like a hey, bato, and it's like this Jesus Mexican Christ. Los Angeles gang movie. But like the the actors are like half white, half Hispanic, and it's it's really interesting. If you, I, what? I highly recommend you watch so, it. It's free on YouTube. On that, on that note, what is the worst streaming service? Uh. Tubi. Um, I didn't even know that was a thing. What is Tubi? So oh, I was like, I went downstairs one? and I was given a warning by my mom. She said, I pulled up the eclair and she said, oh, Zach, I don't know if you want to eat that. And I was like, why? You just bought these. And she said, yeah, your sister and I ate them and they were extra wet. And I was like, what? Just like my and pussy. so I touched the bottom. Oh. It feels fine. But she was like, I wouldn't eat it. It's really wet. And I'm like, what? Can you get it really close to the mic? I'm gonna I'm gonna make you full screen just for me. It. Yeah, but I, I'm t- I might take one bite of it and be done though, because apparently it's too wet to eat. I'll eat the rest. Yes, yeah, ship it over. Oh, I heard that. Is it spongy, like wet bread? It's fine. I'd still eat the fuck out of that entire thing. Yeah, I would, I would eat the, I would eat the <laughs> Oh god, I would. Why do you have an eclair? You live in fucking Arizona. Do we like custard? None of us Are we like custard cold. lovers here? Oh, I love custard, dude. I'm a big custard, custard fucker. I'm a huge custard cutter. You're what? I'm a huge custard cutter. cutter. <laughs> You're a huge custard I'm a huge cutter? custard custard cuddler. <laughs> You're a big cuddler of custard. Okay, that, that's it's good. It's too wet. Alexis and I went. I went to New Jersey last weekend. I go. I go about every other weekend. And um, where do we, you go we in went, the Jersey? Bro, we went to Edgewater again to the Mitsuwa Marketplace. That place is fucking banging. They got so much good uh, Japanese food there. And it, it's a, so it's half Japanese food court, half, half Japanese grocery store. Not oh, like man. overwhelmingly expensive either. Um, I got like this some Wait, chicken cutlet go. shit. Dude, bang. That's where we should go. That's where we should have the podcast, dude. I'm telling you right I, now. N- we need to go. We like, I'd love to go to Chinatown. I'd love to go to these like. Dude, K-Town is so much better than Chinatown. I'll just say it. Or K-Town. I don't, I'm not, I don't go. And that, that sounds fun. That's cool. I, K-Town's um, better during the day than the night. I don't really like it at night, but. Party. I keep That's seeing on my social media feed this place in New Jersey that I want to go to now. It's called like Giuseppe's or something. And it's like an Italian grocery store. It's like a Wegmans, but completely Italian. And they got like little guys or hang around and they go me, 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 me. Like little <laughs> Italian uh, singers and actors and stuff that walk around in there. And they got big vines of mats and salam and gabagool and prosciutto. What, what? But is Italy the Wakanda for white people? I don't think so. Yeah. You, you just go. 
Wakanda. <laughs> I've only seen I've only seen the first movie. I don't remember anything that was in it. Was there a second movie? Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Is it out? There might be a third I'm one. Pretty sure. Shit, but the guy know. died. I, that's it. Was he? Was he? Was he, 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 no, he died in the in the in the movie too, didn't he? That was like how they wreck on yes, that. I think so, bro. Bro, I I, I just want to say. I had some chicken shit. I had a bunch of good shit. It was so fucking good. It was so tasty and yummy. You had and we got shit. we got some we got some we got these like uh uh waffle. It was like a waffle sandwich, and one of them was just waffle. It was like a small like waffle, like maybe this big, and in the middle of it was just a fuck ton of custard. Oh, wait, have you ever been to like Japan or? No, I'm definitely Korea gonna go though. It's it's the Wakanda for white people. Oh, I um, want to go. My girlfriend could, wants to go, so I might go to Japan at some point. You don't Your have a girlfriend, weep, right? Stop pretending. Honestly, I mean, I wouldn't call her that, but she watches a lot of anime. Yeah, she really wants to see the Studio Ghibli world. I want to see that the Naruto, the, the Naruto thing that they have. They have a they have a Naruto park or something like that. It had. I don't know if they still do. They, have, they also they also have a Dragon Quest park. Would you go? I would <laughs> be that cringe kid that has like the headband and goes, ah, "Hey guys!" <laughs> Instead of just eating the ramen and leaving. Oh, the um, place I was talking about is called Uncle Giuseppe's Marketplace in New Jersey. Which is? Uh, they got three of them, one in Ramsey, New Jersey, one in Morris Plains, New Jersey, and another one in Triton Falls, New Jersey. Never heard of any of those yeah. places. Never it's like a grocery store, but they have like little fat singer dudes that hang around, and it's all like Italian homemade shit. But we got we to gotta rent, gotta rent that place out for a day. We gotta rent out the Uncle Giuseppe's sure. yeah, Italian marketplace. Yeah, we can just walk around, dude. Yeah, we can just That's walk around. That's my favorite to podcast. thing to do, bro. My favorite thing to do in life. Let me tell you: go surfing, catch a nice sunset, going to a grocery store, buying ingredients to make a banging sandwich, and then like make a li- like a huge fucking sandwich with some friends, cut it up, and then just fucking eat some sandwich, drink some beer. Oh, it's the best thing ever. Making like homemade sandwiches. I'm, I, I I hate sandwiches, low key. Oh, I know. I eat. You know what, dude? You know what Tristan is just like. I just had a huge brain blast. Listen, listen. Please understand this reference, Zach. If you don't, it's going to be a big problem. Have you seen Lilo and Stitch? Yes. A long time ago. Did you watch the show? I'm sure I've yeah. seen an episode or two. There was a fucking character. It was it was experiment six two five and his 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 specialty was making sandwiches. And that was like his yes, whole personality. I remember that is I remember. Tristan. That is yes. Tristan. I like remember when they sandwiches. had to cut a whole scene from the Lilo and Stitch movie because of nine eleven? Oh my god, I do. They also did that in Pokemon. I figured this out recently. There's a whole Wikipedia page of media that got cut, scrapped, or changed um due to nine eleven. It's like a really long list of like movies albums tv shows that all had to get changed got scrapped or uh pushed back or delayed or something due to 9-11 yeah there was a there was a tentacle attacking a building in the in one of the, i think it was the in maybe no it was Lilo it's and still in a plane intro, crash but, scene that was oh, yeah. cut yep 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 it was, yeah, there, there, it was, it was, i think i don't think it crashed in the building i think it was flying around buildings and they just cut that part out completely because it was right around yeah. that time jay-z's the blueprint came out on 9-11 weird day for new york well, they needed a blueprint. <laughs> Credit roll. Maybe he like <laughs> knew it was happening. Did you guys ever is that play the Family Guy? No. <laughs> that is Family Guy. It is, yeah. Uh, did you guys ever play um uh uh Looney Tunes Crazy Kids Adventure? What is the game called? Did you ever build, play Simpsons Hit and Run? That game is so fucking good. Did you ever play Actual Flames. Age War or whatever that game was on desktop? That's what you were playing with that with that 13-year-old when you climbed up the... She was <laughs> <laughs> not 13! Hey, have you guys ever played Civ 6 forever? Oh my god, dude. Last weekend, right? I was like, okay, I need to get some editing work done. And I'm like casually playing Civ over here and doing some editing work. And I was like, you know what? I've been grinding on this for a little while. I'm going to like play just a little bit of Civ and move over back to editing. And then I'm going to take a break. 
I inadvertently was circumnavigating the world. I didn't intentionally start like in a naval based start, but like I just so happened to have a ship and I just so happened to be to make the highest progress in circumnavigating the globe first in Civ. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do that because you get a little boost if you make history and and, and stuff like that. So I'm like, I'm going to go mm -hmm. circumnavigate the globe. So I'm going around the world and I made the map fucking ginormous because that's just how I play. Um, and then all of a sudden barbarians come and they kill and sink my ship. But I've already like 75% circumnavigated the globe. And I'm like, shit, shit. Um, I'm like rebuilding my ship, but I don't have good production because it's like early game. You know what I mean? So it's taking forever to build these ships. I'll wait. <laughs> oh no he said I enough of that and he walked away <laughs> so um it's taken a while to rebuild these ships so i go and i spend all this time to rebuild them and meanwhile i can see other civilizations traversing the path <laughs> <I'll wait. laughs> traversing the path that i had created and they're going further these other civilizations are going along my path and they're going further than i was going so i was like this bitch i finally create another ship i go out and uh, immediately get attacked by more barbarians. I sink all the ships. It was kind of a, an epic win, right? I was out in number and mm -hmm, I killed like mm -hmm. three ships with one, but I needed to go back and heal the ship. So then I sent it back out again and I'm almost done circumnavigating the globe. And then it's like, wow, wow, the whole thing is one big giant landmass. I can't take a whole boat around it. So I got to, well, I do take a whole boat around it, but it's not as easy as just going that way. I got to go up all the way north and all the way down. So I finally do it. I get the notification. Boom, you're the first civilization to circumnavigate the girl globe. Keep in mind when I'm saying this next part that all I've been doing is trying to make a boat and sail it from one end of the map mm, yeah, yeah, to the other exactly. end of the map. Yeah. So I get that notification. I go, yes, it's dark outside. It was two and a half hours. <laughs> I had spent two and a half hours building a fucking boat and going around the city. And I was like, Worth I it. hate myself so much. I just accidentally lost two and a half hours of my weekend to building a boat and from going from here to there. It's incredibly ha incredible how much of that journey you remember, because I feel like I would have remembered the beginning and the end and that's it. And then told that story and it would have been five seconds. It's incredible how much you remember. Truly. I, I, I don't I, I would Civ. not be able to remember any of that. I know you do. That is, it's very adorable that you love Civ so much. I, I played. I Civ make 5. my own little history. I play. You do make it. <laughs> your, your, it is your story now. Um, <laughs> His story. Well, life should be your story. story. I play. I played uh, Civ Five a little bit. And uh, he's wearing leotard. He's where he's. A, he is a leotard. <laughs> leotard. What, were you, what month were you born? Please tell me you're a Leo. I'm not a Leo. I'm an you're Aquarius. You're Capricorn. I'm a, I'm a Capricorn. I'm a Capricorn. You're an Aquarius. Uh, what's your sign, baby? Um, but uh, I played Civ Five, and I uh, played. I did two campaigns, and I uh, didn't wasn't really that big of a fan. Not really my style. That's all right. Um, and I, but I do find it adorable that that's your game. I, Dude, I started playing Grounded. Like a, Zach, we have something in common. I started playing Grounded. I haven't played Grounded in like a year. It's my, my friends know, play Grounded, and I somewhat. don't. <laughs> Is it good? Do you like it? So okay, so I we so. We do boys night and it's a rotating game. Everybody. It, so it's, we all make well, out. It, it was my, yes, it was my choice. Uh, last game was my choice. We played Mario and then we're, now we're playing grounded, which is Evan's choice. And then it's, so I think it's Barney's choice and then Brian's choice. And it's, that's, and then it goes back to mine and then we do it like that. Evan's choice was grounded. It's funny. We actually bought it on Tuesday for $40 and it went on sale today for 23. Um, I like it. <laughs> I like the game. It's very fun with four people. Like it's very fun. With I think people. Grounded is a great game. I just, when I get on it and I'm playing with my friends, they're off doing their own thing. And I usually just find that I'm like dicking around in between them. And well, they know what they're board. doing, I assume, right? Yeah, a little bit. But I it's just. It's more fun when nobody knows what they're doing. It's for people not knowing what the fuck to do. It's much more yeah. fun that way. In my, but in my I played Grounded pretty extensively for the first few months it was out, and then I just fell off. And there, they have a squad that's already full of four people, so it's like there's not yeah. even a room for me anyways. And I yeah. fell off of it, so it's fine. Um, I saw. Um, I back back to the money thing. The money, the money, it, it, it all relates to one another. But I spent ninety dollars on the Steam sale today because the Steam Summer Sale just came out today. Great deals like all around. Oh, it, they always can are. I check? You can. I get paid um, either tonight bought, or tomorrow. I bought ninety dollars worth of games. 
But if I, I bought five different games, but if I had bought a, a, a bundle that said $90 with those games, I would not have bought it. It's literally bigger number, scarier number for me. You see what I'm That's saying? That's crazy. But I did buy five games. Like I bought games that I'm going to stream that I'm really excited to stream. I bought Jump King and Only Up, which are rage games. I bought Dark Souls Remastered, which is a game that I'm planning on playing on stream specifically. How do I go to the to sale? I can't figure out how to get to like the it's main the homepage. Store. I click on store. Does it say Steam Summer Oh, there it is. Want you to okay, have I don't know why it wasn't working a while ago. Um, should I buy something lost. on Steam, like live? Live reaction unboxing? Dude, there's a game called Battle, Battle Bit. Uh, what is it called? It's not on sale, though. Should so I buy called- Arma 3? No. <laughs> No, you I used to watch. Uh, honestly, can I be honest with you? I used to watch like three hour long Arma Three videos. Arma <laughs> like, Three RP was great. War simulation videos, and I just I've never played Arma. I've never played a single second of Arma in my life, but I've watched hours of it. Yeah, I, I, Arma, Arma Three RP was really good. I dude, I got um, I got five games. There's this game called Battle Bit Remastered, I think it's called. It's like mm. Battlefield. Right now, it's super popular. Like, super I popular. I heard. I it, saw a video on YouTube. 254 player games. It's 15 bucks, right? 15 bucks. I bought it today. I heard. You, you should definitely live stream that. I'd love to watch that. It is It is. It is pretty fun. I mean, it, it's open. It's, uh, it's, it's all chat, and it's, it's proximity. So if I'm near somebody that dies, oh, wait, and they Battle scream, Bit, I hear you said? it. Yeah. Uh, it's right here. Yeah. It's super popular right now. If you go to the community hub, you can see there's like 50,000 plus people in the game right now, which is, which is pretty incredible for a game that came out of nowhere. It's, it's, it's a good time. I heard the, I heard the game, the devs have been making it for like nine years. Does so the Steam like, Deck work I, yeah, I for I everything? Know like, can I buy anything no. on Steam and it works on the Steam Deck? No, but most things do. If it, if Battle it, Bit? Battle Bit would work, yeah. I assume. I should have a Steam compatibility. Deck. I, I can now check the better right I now. Wanna, now I want to buy Battle Bit. Does Planet Zoo work for the Steam Deck? Battle Bit, Battle Bit, but a Battle Bit will run on Planet. anything. It'll run on a toaster. It's it's fucking. I have like so much megabytes. shit to buy. I should not buy a Steam Deck right now. But the I Steam Deck's on sale for the <laughs> first time ever. Yeah, it's, oh, it's only like dead. forty dollars off though. Um, no Steam Engine Simulator is free right now. <laughs> You just buy it while it's buy it while it's free, bro. I think it's um, always free. I think it just is a free simulator. Sale, the Steam Summer Sale. Oh, it has is a so whistle update. Crazy. Steam whistle update, dude. The power wash. The power wash simulator. It got a SpongeBob update today. What? I gotta go back and download it. I'm telling you, bro. It's crazy. The dead games. And it's by the way, it's published by Square Enix, which only makes JRPGs, which is very strange. Anyway, I'm loving the Steam Summer Sale. Um, I already have too many games in my backlog, and I'm just adding more. Good for you. If it's that your, if that's your passion, that's all you. Follow. I'm a collector, brother. I have like seven, like 700 games on Steam, and I've probably played 100 of them. I have 28 games on Steam. Pussy. Oh, we should play the Jackbox Party games. That would be those fun. are very fun. Phone. That would be a fun I stream. Love regurgitated Jackbox Party pack. That would be a, that would be a good yeah. stream on the on the regurgitated Pod Twitch channel. Do you want to rate my Steam library? Okay. Yeah, sure. Should I screen share it or should I just say it? You just say it. I got Among Us. I got Borderlands Game of the Year Edition and Game of the Year Edition okay. Enhanced. It's a jump. Okay. I have CS Go. I have CS Source. It's free. Okay. <laughs> I have Dead Space 2. I have Deus S- Ex Machina Human Revolution. I would not have guessed that that would be a game that you own, but okay. I have Dirt 3 Complete Edition. I have The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim that I've logged a whopping two hours on. I, I, have, I have Gary's Mod. Great game. I have GTA 1, 2, th- I have when they did the whole, all the GTA things. Remember that? When they did like a, all the GTA bundle yeah. thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah I have so it. I have yeah, all I the GTAs except for like five. I have the Master you don't Chief. Have five? Co- no, I didn't buy five on PC. That's I mean, funny. I have it on Xbox, just not on PC. Five is about as expensive as the other games most of the time. Like, no. I'm sure right now it's fifteen dollars. Go ahead. Uh, Master Chief Collection. I have a game called Insurgency. Jackbox Party Pack mm-hmm. Three, Four, Five, and Six. Left 4 Dead Two. Metro 2033. Civ Six, and then Mon- Super Monday Night Combat. Super Monday Night Combat. Wait, what is that again? I think it was like a That's free to play game, game like 10 years ago. Yeah. It's like WWE. <laughs> it sounds like. 
Wait, Super Monday Night Combat. Oh my God. I was so excited for this game. I don't even know if it has the store page active in Steam anymore. It's definitely, definitely is dead if nothing else. But I wanted to play this. It was, it's a MOBA. Holy shit. That brought back memories. Holy fuck. You always bring back good memories to me. I don't know nothing about gaming. Anyways, what would you rank right my now? Steam library? Oh, um, 69 out, two of, out of 10. I don't know. Like you got some good, like Borderlands game of the year is pretty good. Among Us is pretty good. Um, the Deus Ex Machina is kind of crazy. Yeah, he doesn't have so smash. That's so that's like, I that's did a, a let's play points. of Deus Ex Machina on my personal channel. It was pretty cringe. Really? Did you finish it? That, that uh, adds a point. I can't remember, but I played hours of it. You got a you got a six for the for the size six out of ten seven out of ten eight out of ten nine out of ten. Maybe a 10. Give it I a used to play 10. a lot of uh, modded COD World at War. That game is fun. For, uh, the, the, the modded maps you can get on that are fun as hell. Yeah, I have about... I played Pokemon Blue now we're Emerald talking. on my Game Boy yep. when I lived in Hawaii for two months. And then I also... That's what I played. Yeah, Call of Duty World at War is by far my most played PC game. Black Ops 2 is With probably about 40 my hours. Yes, Um, Yeah, I don't want to want to go through my list. I wonder I what do you think my on, most played you, game on Xbox is. If, if I took you, a look at if, that. Yeah, look at it. I'm going to open up my Steam and see what my most played is. Ben, if would it, <laughs> if, if someone can't, would you be able to sell your entire library if someone was like, hey, I want to just buy all these games off you. Like, could you make that a transaction? Or you just like give them your... Oh, no. Um, I, I mean, I could sell... If I sold my account, it'd be like thousands and thousands of dollars. Like, I can, t- I can actually give you the exact number. Uh, if you want. That's what, yeah, that's... Well, no, no, you don't have to. No, I, can, I can do it. I have the same I'll thing count, with count records. Quick, I like, I like looking at my uh, how much my record collection is worth on Discogs. What? What is that? Discogs is like a website where you can track like the records you own and what their values are, and buy and exchange other records and stuff. Oh, and they give you like a value for each record you own, so like it tells me how expensive my record collection is. How much is it worth? Uh, last time I checked, it was between one point five to two thousand dollars. Million? Oh, okay. I have a pretty expensive record collection. I mean, I'm sure is some it, people would laugh at it, but like, is it because you made that boat and you traveled around on that boat? I don't. What What is the joke with the boat? I don't know. Is your joke? Yeah. So it says. That my minimum value for my record collection is nine hundred and sixty dollars, and the maximum value is two thousand nine hundred and fifty-one. So the medium value is about one point five thousand dollars for my record collection. Damn, bro, sell that bid. I'm not selling my record collection. <laughs> sell it. If anything, my records may have been some of my best investments I've ever owned because, like, I bought some stuff on like Record Store Day for like thirty bucks that ended up now are being sold for like eighty dollars, three hundred dollars. Like, I get a pretty good return. From record store day there you go buy low sell high baby i've played about 14 days of civ 6 on xbox what's how much how many hours wow. is 14 days uh a times of, that's by a 24 i played hours. about that much of madden <laughs> but how much of mathgames.com did you play though a lot okay i have about uh 62 days of Halo MCC on Xbox. Jesus Christ, motherfucker. Ben's not here anymore. 62, fu- that's like that could be a quarter net of a ben, fucking did you hear, year. did you hear how many days? Ben, ben, ben did you hear ears. how many days? Close your ears. You don't Me? want to hear it. Guess hear how many it. days of MCC I played on uh, oh, Xbox. Um... <laughs> Two. No, not even close. Are you? One more guess. Give him another guess. Come on, serious guess. Higher for sure. Higher. Higher. It's higher. a little bit higher. Tiny bit higher. Um, fifteen. 
It's 62 Close. days of Halo MCC, MCC I've played. Uh, 62 that's days. A lot of days. That's like that's like five fifty five thousand hours. This that guy is like five fifty five thousand hours. He's right. I feel like I give a bad brand reputation of myself on these podcasts because I'm always drunk and fucked up. Yeah, I like rarely drink, but when I'm on this episode, when I go on the show, I like I it's like honestly like fifty percent of the time gets, when I'm be drinking is on this show. Gets yeah. Anytime I drink, it's literally just because I'm going on the show. <laughs> yeah. Jesus okay, Christ. so I want to tell you, I, I can. I'm trying to find the trying to get the cost of my my library right now, but my highest uh, played games on Steam are GTA Five for 541 hours. MCC for 431 hours, Gmod for 398, VRChat. Wait, how many days of MCC is that? Like how many days? How many hours was that? 431. Was it like 20 days? 431. You said. Yeah. That's like. Oh, I'm days. trumping you in Halo hours, dude. What? Nerd. Bro, you got the game like five years before me. I don't want to hear from you. I have 22 <laughs> days of Halo Five. Why the fuck would you have 22 days of Halo 5? It was a decent My buddy game. played Halo 5 only uh, and got to like the highest level or whatever just to get the stupid um, thing in Halo Infinite that isn't even Call good looking. Card. I have that. I have Helio Scroll. Yeah, you want to, yeah, yeah, you might want to die soon. <laughs> you see how happy Zach got when he said that? I have, I have Helio Scroll. I have Helio Scroll. His face, he had to lit up. Um. Yeah, that's, that's so, cute. That's cute. Maybe yeah. I want to kiss you in your cheeks. My 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 friends. The, um, I had recon had, legit too back in the day. I, I I cheated it. Um, cheater. I um. We have this conversation sometimes. Me, me and the guys and uh. Me and the boys, the fellows. Me and the fellows, the, the dudes. The fellas, you know, you know what I mean. The, the dudes, the fucking guys. Just goose. being dudes, being dudes. You know what I'm saying? And um. Right. Uh. We're like, well, you know, what game do you have the most time in? And like Brian, my, you know, you, I think at least, wait, Tristan, have you I met, met Brian? Brian. You know. I met Brian. I met Brian. Yeah, he had like he had like sixty 21. hours on, on his two sixty hour like RuneScape accounts, old school RuneScape accounts, like incredible amounts of time. I, I Minecraft is definitely my number one. I've played more Minecraft than any other game, and I would say, I would include Pokemon in that too. Like, I, have I, you found Diamond yet? I bet you. I, don't, I haven't found any Diamond. It's actually crazy how little Diamond I found. Um, but I did have up. 400 hours in a Pokemon Sun, Ultra Sun save. You jealous? Did you beat Minecraft? No, I'm never beating it. I wish I, I could like- aggregate all the hours of Halo I've ever played together. Like from all the different consoles and platforms and versions. I wish I could like put it all together in the one It's big crazy number. how you have that much time yeah. and you're still so dog shit. <laughs> 1v1 yeah. me. <laughs> I got you, bro. Hit me up when the, the, the pit or whatever. Not the pit. What's the other <laughs> yeah. one? What's the Halo Reach ben one? didn't the, respond, um, so asylum. I won by default. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to make a, a Mark Norman joke when you were Did talking you just about call him the- Mark Norman? Dude, I <laughs> love Norm crazy. McDonald. I, I uh, love Norm McDonald. <laughs> Norm McDonald. <laughs> Mark, yeah, I can't believe you would. Mark Norm is a different actor. I mean, comedian. <laughs> He's a different comedian. But Mark, what's his name? Norm Mac McDonald. Lord? Yeah, Norm Mac Norman. Mac Lamore McDonald. Everyone quit messaging me. I'm trying to be a Z list internet personality. You think TMZ is going to come after you? Yes. Bro? We're meeting no. Zachary Marshall after he ordered McDonald's for the third time today. Zach, how are you feeling? Zachary, how do you feel about the Jewish community? Uh, I think they're great people, man. Good, good. Good job. We're going to get another take of that, though. Can we get you sitting over here? Um, all right. Do you want to? Wanna I'm part Jewish. The- Me too. Dude, it's funny. I did my uh, 23andMe test, and <laughs> Ben, I love Ben's face. You're so cute. Look at you wanting no, to end well, the show. Because you said, to do less you, work you said, for yourself. You said, I'm, I'm now I'm part Jewish, and I was going to say I could tell, <laughs> but I didn't know what that would have meant <laughs> for me. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I, uh, I took my 23andMe test, and it came back, and they're like, hey, Zach, you're 6% Jewish. And I'm like, I cool. That offsets all the fucking German that I am, I suppose. It gives me oh, some kind of an say, alibi. So now but, you can say the K word, but okay. Crystal knocked? That's the one. Okay. Uh 
Anyways, uh, um, so say I did that. And then immediately the state of Israel started messaging me and emailing me. <laughs> and they were like, bro, we'll send you to Israel for free. <laughs> like, please right. come. come on birthright. They're like, please come. Like, we'll fly you out to Israel if you want to, like, come and, like, practice Judaism for, like, a little bit. And I was like, yeah. no. But still you to this to day. You have to a bunch of chicks. Yeah, still to this day, I'll get emails from Israel being like, hey, do you want to, like, come be a Jew for a week? <laughs> and, like, do you want to come out and, like, practice Judaism for a <laughs> bit of time you ever think about you it you should do it it's free it is free i do have a free trip to israel in store for me if i wanted you should to do it you can bang yeah, it's not like the really state trip. of israel is questionable oh that's all no. other can of worms is it oh bro for a white man as are yourself, you saying that I the mean, regurgitated sorry. podcast Jewish. is a pro israel podcast yes we're going to israel we're doing our first live podcast our the israel. first live pod in israel would go crazy i think yeah, it's the first time they the ever Jesus had an internet trip. i think yeah we go. We go. We, the first live episode in Tel Aviv, near the the holy sacred wall. What is that <laughs> yeah, where wall? Jesus was crucified. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we want to go to Cal- the episode Calvary? by the Dead Sea. Let's go to Calvary. Christ, Christ, he died in Calvary. We should do it at In and Out. He died in Bethlehem or something. Yeah. That's where. No, Christ he was died. born in Bethlehem. I don't remember. Yeah. Well, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus right, bro, of what are you Nazareth. Fucking World of Warcraft terms? What are you talking about? Jesus <laughs> I've played <of> Civ. <laughs> Civ should let me give birth to Jesus and do obscene things to him. Jesus Christian looks Christ. like an old man with his hair back like that. Wait, wait, do an old man Jesus accent. Christ. Hello, young laddie. I can you give me my boner pills? I need to fuck what? your grandmother. We have Parkinson's too. You can, it, I love it because it, it just makes your hair look a little bit whiter. That, that's like the whole thing. Like it's like it's blonde, or it's gone, or it's gone, or it's or it's silver. You guys ever have an STD? Can we end the show? No, I, I've actually so surprised I've never had an STD because I used to have loose sex with a lot sex. of crazy people. Oh, never. And I've never got an STD. Raw sex what if you, what if you have, condoms? Did you, have you ever taken a test for an STD, Zach? I think so. <laughs> what if we have... <laughs> what if we, what if I, we I have, think so. What if we have that good sex and you you uh, you have untreated chlamydia? Well, I'm taken now. I am taken. Well, you're naturally supposed to have... Actually, I, going, going back to the sex, dick, right? sex conversation, I know you're trying to end this and I'm so sorry, but That's I was natural. going through therapy at a certain time, uh, right? Before, you know, I, I was in my current relationship and I would, you know, hook up with people like kind of sporadically. And, um, but I was also struggling a lot with social anxiety and my therapist had noted to me how bizarre it was, how I struggled to start conversations with people. And I struggled to hold conversations or be in like a room with a group of people. Like I really felt uncomfortable in those situations, but I could just like fuck people. No problem. And she thought that was really weird. That is Um, very weird. And she was like, I think you may have like, had like this weird trauma associated with like social situations but like a a a sexual relationship is something new to you as an adult so that's something that you formed how to do that like as an adult after all these like social traumas happened to you when you were a child so like sexual experiences are something you've like were able to kind of go out on your own with and find success in without that trauma and i think that's like good for you so my therapist told me to go fuck more that's awesome, and I'm pr- I'm happy that you get prescribed sex. That's awesome. <laughs> Literally, for you. my therapist was like, "You should do that more." She's like, "That's weird," and she's like, I, "She's like, I don't know if it's like the most healthiest thing in the world, but she was like, I do find it interesting that like you are able to be without that anxiety in those scenarios." And I'm I was happy like, for "Yeah, you. I guess." I'm very happy for you. Go do some more fucking. I'm proud of you. Yeah, and you go do some more fucking. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Do some I'm more. All, I'm all fat now. Oh. I'd still. I mean, some people, man. Trust me, I'm, I'm yeah, in the I same gotta, boat. I gotta, my wife. I gotta, yeah, we we should all do a oh strength a regimen or like a weight, weight loss regimen. All three of us, the same one. We should we all should. do a we fit. Let's play. We should. we should. That would be fun. That would be good. That that's a good idea. Zachary I don't have space in this room. You see this bed? This is all the room I have in the world. That's private. Throw it away. Dude, I'll give you a workout. <laughs> <laughs> but that picture of SpongeBob. <laughs> but that picture of SpongeBob and Minder Krabs up on screen. Who? Minder Krabs. Mindy. Nah, not sure what you're saying. 
Put a picture up with SpongeBob and Minner Crabs. <laughs> okay. Minner I'll put crabs. up a picture of SpongeBob and Minner Crabs just for you. SpongeBob. Any, any, it's many, any, it's many any, any specific picture or just a picture of them in the same frame? <laughs> just a picture of them doing anything. Anything you want. <laughs> okay. just, and okay. we also get a picture of a Coney Island hot dog. I've never really seen one. I kind of want to see what a specifically a Coney Island hot dog is. And then can you also find a picture of like a little guy? You're going to be on the screen the whole video, bro. You, I know you lied about being 6'3", bro. You're the littlest guy here. Dude, dude, so you're dude. You're going to be wait, on the screen wait, the whole time. I'll prove it. I'll prove it. Hold on. Okay. Oh, my God. My camera is so bro. hot. So are you. Bro, that, but that, but that mirror is three feet tall. Oh. Yeah, yeah. He's got the short, he's got the short mirrors. Fucking three foot tall mirror. I'm going to see your nutsack. You're going to kick again and you're, I'm going to see your nutsack. Wait, can we get a little interview? Hey, Zachary, how do you feel about working at your office? What are the lessons that you're learning and the skills the that you're doesn't developing? doesn't know about that. Shut a- the fuck up, Tristan. <laughs> I'll well, fucking for, kill regurgitated you. Pod- for the regurgitated podcast, how are you feeling about the way that you're pursuing these co- comedic journeys? And how are you trying to persuade the audience into being more impressionable? Into how, did your- you wait, how did your camera move? I saw it move, too. I swear. Oh, it's maybe this is a short. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Hey, hey, you are short. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, it was a good. That was so funny. That's a good ending. Wait, wait, Zach, can you go back into the corner of your room and end the show? <sighs> God, this camera's so Thank hot. God, he asked you and not me. Uh, what else did you do oh, a backflip? Yeah. All right. I mean, yeah. yeah. Do a backflip. All right. We're going to get in shape. Everyone with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Free Palestine. Skeet, skeet, motherfucker. <sighs> yeah, yep. <laughs> oh. You right? <laughs> that was the end of the show. Right. <laughs> that was the end of the show. We're cliffhangering that yeah, one. That was, well, that I want to make sure that he's was, okay. Maybe yeah, we'll that's 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 that's